Wake up, brother, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. here so there's something going on in my community and I need your help with so this is a double homicide that happened in my community but there's a lot more to this case than meets the eye this is Thomas Matajek he actually killed his mother and her boyfriend recently but the problem here is he shouldn't even have been out of jail he should have been in a mental hospital and he is deemed incompetent to stand trial. This right here is our state attorney and his name is Ed Brodsky. He has been our state attorney in the 12th district for some time. I recently learned our law enforcement officer, Sheriff Rick Wells, has arrested this guy many times and has prepared a case and sent that over to the state prosecutor. Ed Brodsky was supposed to litigate the matter. However, he ended up taking the felony case, reducing it to a misdemeanor, sending it to a misdemeanor court, and then just a month ago sent this deranged mental patient to a halfway house where he escaped and killed his mother. How can you help Bullhorn Betty? You can help Bullhorn Betty by saying, we will not accept this, this is unacceptable. Our law enforcement does their job and they send it over to the prosecutors just to let them go. Now, two people in my own backyard have lost their life because of these horrible and poor decisions at the hand of the state prosecutor, not law enforcement. So please, I ask you, is this going to be acceptable in your community as well? This is how you can help. If this case bothers you, if it disgusts you, if you realize two people should not be laying in the morgue right now, please consider giving Ed Brodsky a call and letting him know this is unacceptable from any state prosecutor. Hi, Bullhorn Betty.
thank you for my shirt. Welcome to the Bullhorn Betty Kids Club. So as watching Dr. Phil and getting an insight on uh, Summer Wells, you know, we're paying a close attention to every piece of, of, uh, of words that are coming out of their mouth. We're paying attention to their body language. We're paying attention to every little detail. We're going back. We're fast forwarding forward. We're rewinding back. And so go ahead and shoot that. So Don Wells... Don Wells on here says the first thing he thought of when he realized his daughter was um, missing is that she was abducted. That was his very first thought. My question is, is with that, all that greenery, all that trees, all that whole vast land, your first inclination would be that she was abducted, not that she was lost. Not that she went out and played and fell asleep somewhere, you know, in a tree, something. Your first thought was she was abducted. And he says that multiple times, that that's his first thought, is that she was abducted. My question is, is that would have been my first thought, first and foremost. Secondly, why would that have been his first thought? Was he threatened by somebody that he owed maybe money to? That if he didn't pony up, something would happen to his family? If he didn't owe, own, uh, owe any money, why would that be his first thought? Um, the wife, Candace, has uh, failed and actually got up out of the interrogation with the human lie detectors. Uh, the two gentlemen that were there, you know, reading body language and everything else like that which was uh, a little suspicious because, you know, you're here to try to find answers for your daughter. And especially if you think she was abducted, your first thing would, would be, you know, selflessness. You're not worried about yourself. You throw everything on the table to save your child. And you ask, somebody asks the tough question and you break down and get up and don't want to talk about it and take your microphone off. The, this is not... Uh, conduct of uh, people that uh, had nothing to do or don't know anything. Secondly, um, it was apparent that uh, Don Wells may have been at work during the time. So why is the, the wife half, Candace, so upset about stuff? To me, just on just this little bit I've previewed thus far, I believe she knows a hell of a lot more than she's saying she knows. I think Don now knows that she may have been involved, and that's why he's having some body language, eye-blinking pattern issues. But if he was not there at the time she disappeared, I think the mom knows exactly what happened to Summer Wells. Summer Wells went missing on June 15th, 2021. She disappeared from her home at 110 Ben Hill Road in Hawkins County. On our two-year milestone, we placed this banner on the side of the road. When she went missing, she hasn't been heard or seen from again. While I was visiting the area, I saw Don Wells working on his truck and asked him if he'd come down and speak to me, which he did. Don Wells and I had a conversation about his daughter, Summer Wells, and information related to her disappearance. Don Wells maintains that somebody came on the property and took his daughter away. He still believes after all this time, she has been abducted. His family came under heavy scrutiny, but they've maintained their innocence. One thing Don Wells told me is that they have no new leads into anybody that could have been responsible or is responsible for the disappearance of his daughter, Summer Wells. Many people across this country want to know what happened to Summer Wells. Where is Summer? If you have any information related to the disappearance of Summer Wells, you are asked to call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Welcome to the Bullhorn Betty Coffee Club. As you wake up in the morning, you want to find the latest, greatest information about criminal cases and have an intuitive conversation about the suspects associated with these cases. Head over to the Bullhorn Betty channel on YouTube.
breaking news right here on the Bullhorn Betty channel. Welcome to the Bullhorn Betty Coffee Club. Enjoy your stay and enjoy your day. hate this i i got it guys i got it i got it i just i don't know why it does that so i just spent a few minutes saying i'm just saying good morning everybody that today is not really the happiest day i'm not really in the oh you know great mood that i should be in this wonderful morning uh because of the situation surrounding Allie as well as summer wells uh because we wouldn't know hunter or ally had it not been for the summer wells case and um it's just been um, it's been difficult going through this because many don't know that I spoke to Ali a lot. You know, during this time frame when we were covering the Summer Wells case, we have some. Uh, I have one of those private communications. I did. I did have permission to share it back in the day, which we did share it. And you know, obviously, uh, it it probably went to the wayside or people didn't hear it. And um, I was a very uh, strong advocate for Allie. I thought she was she was treated very unfairly. This is when we had all these boneheads in this case really trying to thwart the investigation into Summer Wells for the benefit of her parents. And I never under quite understood that. Um, but as we uh, embarked on this journey of the Summer Wells case, uh, we learned a lot. And we're going to be sharing some of that with you. Some of the stuff um, I haven't shown. Uh, I'm going to be showing the interview in its entirety. Uh, Allie and her family were one of the first people that we ever interviewed going into Rogersville, Tennessee. Um, this was kind of when we were a little more um, brazen, you know, brazen. We just kind of went to a location, popped out of a car and literally started recording. Um, and, and that strategy will be used again. It's just at the time we I use specific strategies for specific cases. I have a lot of tools at my disposal that I use in these cases, uh, not just to bring them to you in a journalistic aspect, but also while I'm investigating it as in a journalistic aspect. Um, you know, Summer Wells, uh, you know, as many know, we are a victim-based channel, you know. So Summer Wells is uh, who we were advocating for. Uh, we talked to a lot of people, we interviewed a lot of people. Without further ado, without further ado, I'm going to let you um, see the interview, the very first interview that we had. Well, let me just go through here just real quick. I'm just a little off this morning because I'm, believe it or not, this is really hurting me. It's really sad for me to know that Allie is, is not going to be here. And um, it's just, it's hard because again, I did, I did know her. Um, was she a perfect person? Of course not. None of us are. Um, but she was a mom and she cared about her kid. You know, she cared about her kid. Uh, she has kids, but I'm talking about Hunter because Hunter was never the same again after this day. Okay. And that's what a lot of people don't realize is what, what we're hearing now is not what we heard back then. 
So it's time to get back to the reality of the Summer Wells case and not this fictitious notion that um, they went to Burger King or something nefarious didn't happen that day. There's something happened that day, whether Hunter knew about it or not. And we're going to go through this case. And it is starting to get to me because I know Allie wanted justice for this little girl. And it's breaking my heart that she's probably not going to see it. And it is upsetting to me. It is very, very, very upsetting to me. Um, so with that being said, sweet misery, thank you for being here. Jules, good morning. It's nice to see you here. MJ, Darcy, it's nice to see you as well. Angie, Van Lady, November Rain, good morning. Good morning, Stacy. It's nice to see you. The Real Me Too, TL. Um, yeah, I don't know if I said good morning to you, MJ. I know you're in the house and I may have uh, missed you. Steffers is in here this morning. It's nice to see you, my beautiful coffee bean. TLC is me. Ashley's World, cool gamer. Nanny, it's nice to see you. I see you, Elfig. Elfig always sends me some, she sent me a really nice um, spiritual message yesterday. I always appreciate those. Pebbles, it's nice to see you. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to scroll through here. D James, it's nice to see you as well. I'm just going to kind of briefly scroll here. Stevie's mom. Uh, we have Angela in the house. It's nice to see you. Anybody else that I happen to miss? There was a lot of messages in the chat. If I happen to miss you, this is just a big blanket. Good morning, Susie Sue. I see you. Um, BZ Collecting, I see you as well. Sheila, good morning. Um, Skittles Crime Show, it's nice to see you. Uh, Courtney Dawn, it's nice to see you as well. Michelle, good morning. So good morning. If I missed you, I'm really sorry. You are part of the family. You're here once and then that's it, right? That's it. You're, you're, you're hooked. So um, before we start, I just want to pay tribute to her. This is a song that meant something to me. Um, I'm going to play it. Uh, we're just going to take a few moments to... Um, Give Allie some respect, but before we do, I did prepare um, a prayer If for those that would like to participate. I realize that there's a lot of people that come to our show that um, may be atheists or others. You know, we're kind of Christian-based here, so if you don't want to participate, you know, please don't. I don't want to offend anybody, um, but I am a Christian, and I want to pray, and that's kind of what I do when I don't know what else to do. So I did take the time to, you know, write a prayer for her. So for those that would like to participate, if you'd like to bow your heads, please do so. And then we're going to take about three minutes um, just to listen to some music in honor of her. Uh, gracious Father, your holy world tells us that our time here are in your hands. Here are prayers for Allie, Hunter, and their family as Allie nears the end of her earthly life. Comfort them with your gracious promise of forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, receive her into your kingdom that you have mercifully prepared for her. Graciously release her, O Lord, and comfort her eternally. Through your dear Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. You say I make you nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning, you wonder how I got this way, you think I'm someone to be saved, someone to clean up and tame, oh some things never change, never change, oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh, you break your back to make me feel it. I 
I stopped asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools tread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment Cause you just don't know But some things never change Never change Oh They say I should feel guilty And change my ways Leave and crumple bodies In my wakes where I didn't mean to make them break Where I didn't mean to make them break But they're so delicate and so mundane And they keep coming like a moth to a flame Oh, some things never change, never change Thank you guys for taking the time to honor Allie. Um, we know that she is is not gone yet, okay? And while we pray for um, healing and we pray for hope, um, you know, coming from a medical background, you know, it's, I've got family, this is not good. Um, she's not married either. So people don't understand the legality of it. Which basically means if you're not married and somebody, even if, if you have adult children and stuff like that, even under eight, there's nobody there to stop and fight or that has authority to really fight to keep you on life support. And the, 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 the hospital will take you off. They don't need permission. So a lot of people don't understand that. And while, you know, I'm pretty sure doctors have informed this family um um what's going on the brain is a almost an elusive thing right some things affect somebody's brain differently than it affects somebody else's um lack of oxygen is is never good and um even if she does survive this, you know, it, even if she's living, I don't think you guys understand what brain dead looks like. Um, for those of us in here that have had the displeasure of seeing it, it's, it's, not, it's not pretty. Okay, so um, just let's pray for Allie. Again, I thought she was fair, felt, treated so unfairly um, when she was just trying to help find answers for Summer Wells. I do wanna share with you guys before I go into the first video, and again, this is gonna be about a 30 minute uh, video, not this one that I'm about to play, but the other one is gonna be about a 30 minute video, and it's the unedited uh, raw footage of my first time meeting this woman. And, um, you know, it's kind of interesting that her and I had, uh, you know, managed to, uh, anyways, without further ado. And, you know, and I even said that on one of my lives, I think it was either this morning or yesterday morning, I said, you know, everybody's being so happy that Jose came out. I said, but you know what? Shame on YouTube, because when Allie came out, you guys brutalized that woman. That was not right nor fair. Get out of here. Right. Get out of here with that garbage. It's a good thing I didn't hear because if I didn't hear it, I'd call Andrew myself. Oh, yes. I know. But listen to this. Andrew um, was going off. I think his friend Sam, Andrew and Sam were going off on Benny. Apparently somebody was saying something in Benny's chat and they just about, uh, it was yesterday. I had to get off because I could, you know, I don't like getting sucked into the drama. And I, I kept telling Andrew, I'm like, Andrew, don't get sucked into it. Don't get sucked. It's easy to get sucked into it. Stay focused. And he was, he was fit to be tied. He was just fit to be tied. And he was, he's wanting blood. He's wanting Benny blood. And then Benny's like, oh, well, Hunter, there you have it. Everyone hunted that woman from his mother's care. 
blah, blah, blah. And I will all fucking get you for that one. I said, what the hell are you doing? Like, keep your fucking mouth shut. Like, right. If they think it, they believe it's true. That's what I found out. Because I, I mean, people are, you know, I just came back from South Carolina and I was out there for a leisurely time and some uh, creator is out there saying, oh, she took her subs money for her vacation. I'm like, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. I know. I know. You were in Tennessee a months ago, weren't you? Yeah, we were in Tennessee. Well, it was a couple months ago. It was back in January, uh, mid-January. We were in Tennessee, and we came yes. by and saw you. And that was. But I've been traveling everywhere. I've been to. Oh, like, no, 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 no. So you want to know why? Why? Because I heard you on the phone. On the phone. Yeah. At my boyfriend's store. For asking that the guy behind the counter about the vapes. Yes. And I think that was my boyfriend. <laughs> and I heard your voice. And I looked at Leslie and I said, I know that voice. I know that woman that is old horn daddy. Yep, it was me. Oh, oh, because I was getting my jewels. Yep. That was me. So, you know, there was a lot of conversations that I had. That was one that I had permission to share. And um, I, I did upload that to the channel. That was one I pulled off the channel and, and downloaded. I, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but, you know, again, we had conversations. We've made multiple tours out here. This lady was trying to help find out what happened to Summer. She loved Summer Wells. And she knew her son was never the same again. So before we start going back and, and going into the case, um, I'm going to show you what gave law enforcement heartburn. <laughs> what gave law enforcement heartburn around this country. <laughs> before we get in, into the first time I met um, met Allie. This is this is the this is the one right here. Law enforcement changed their rules and protocols after this one. A-N-D-R-A-G-R-I-F-F-I-N-A-K-A Bullhorn Betty. All right, so you brought the bullhorn? I brought the bullhorn. No, did you guys get to use it? No, I did not use it on this uh, on this trip. On this trip. So we will, we, we, we may, we strategize before we come here. So we always bring the tools necessary to do whatever strategy we uh, decide on to execute, and uh, the bullhorn was not one that we uh, chose to uh, use on this trip. Uh, we are starting to work on planning another trip, and very well may use it. Talk to me about going to the Wells property today, and what was that like? The first way I saw it, and what did you think? Well, we actually went to the property yesterday, yesterday. for the first time, and while we were at that property yesterday, I, I think we were expecting to see like trails up to uh, the house that somebody could easily access um, you know their property at the top of the mountain I think that's really primarily what we were looking for and we couldn't find it we come here with with an open mind you know we already have some ideas we've already discussed as a team all the possibilities of uh, what could have happened in this case and uh, we try to either prove or eliminate um, those, 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 those things. So, uh, in this case, you know, we were, in our opinion, able to eliminate fairly quickly um, the idea that some stranger just walked up on their property and snatched a kid off of it, just the, you know, up the mountain. So now it goes on to the next thing. Well, what could have happened? You know, was there somebody else on the property uh, that could have taken the child with them off the property? Was there foul play involved? Um, was there an accident? Um, a number of things. In, in this case, you know, we still have a lot of uh, plausible things that could have happened. You know, we still have a lot of elimination to do. What I can tell you is that law enforcement has been very kind to us here, but they haven't been able to solve the case in six years or six months, and um, that has caused you know a ripple across. The nation you know they want to know what's going on with this little girl we haven't been contacted just by people in this area we have been contacted by people around the nation that is following this case tell me about um dealing with wells you got to interact with 
uh, law enforcement while you're here. You got to interact with the family while you're here. And you've got to interact with some of the ancillary people that are hanging around this case. What was the, what was that like? What were the Wells like? What were their friends like? Um, well, Don Wells was, to say the least, a little scattered. Um, you know, some of the things he, he said to us in telephone interviews were a little peculiar. Uh, primarily, you know, we're here for a five-year-old girl, his daughter. Uh, at some point, you know, he's talking about deaths in North Korea. I, I, I'm sorry, but deaths in North Korea is not what I came from Florida to help with. I came to help find his daughter and find out what happened to Summer Wells. Tell me about social media. Tell me about the, this, this uh, I guess, realm of investigations that is occurring, you know, and how does that help um, get these cases solved or apply pressure? Sure. So, you know, in, in o over the years, as social media has become a, you know, just an open market of, you know, free processes, free ideas, a lot of people you know, like web sleuths and stuff like that are very good at what they do. This has opened up almost like a niche market this for is where crime is solving because you have all these people doing all this investigative work that the um, law enforcement doesn't necessarily have to do. This is what they give in Harper. Over to them. Does it help? I absolutely believe it does. Um, what I find most uh, helpful when we're in, say, a, a county or a city is that people do open up to us, people that wouldn't normally open up to law enforcement uh, because they're scared, you know, they, they may be doing illegal activities themselves and don't want to be involved. You know, having a normal person to speak to that they can relate to, that, tr that they can feel the vibe that we're here to help, they don't mind using us as the conduit to get the information to law enforcement. And there's, there's a lack of reporting in this case, we discussed it. Uh, the media, the general media, us, it's not covering it enough. We don't have national outlets here. You know, the second television station in town isn't covering it. Mm -hmm. uh, why, like, what do you think when you see us um, in our response? I mean, is this? Well, quite frankly, if we didn't do what we do on social media, you probably wouldn't be here right now. So, you know, we do bring spotlights to cases. Um, we are effective in our means. Um, there's been a time just recently, um, I was in Florida in Pasco County, uh, Kathleen Moore, a uh, young black woman disappeared and we went out there. There was no media anywhere. So I was able to get out on the streets. I was able to start tagging some media outlets and start calling them out. Next thing you know, you got Bay News 9 coming in, you got WFLA because now they're looking embarrassed. You know, why are you, why were you in front of Gabby Petito's house nonstop? But here we have a young black woman, you know, a couple counties over, a few counties over and no media attention whatsoever. You can use that for your leverage and any leverage I can use, whether I like the, what's coming out of my mouth, if it's leverage that I can pull people in, I will use it. I guess um, what you're criticized for is also your strength. I mean, you can call out the media, the uh, law enforcement, the community, the family, you, I mean, you have carte blanche, really. I mean, did you, do you, do you have that sense and do you use, do you use that to empower We you? use, we are very strategic in what we do. And so we may choose different, to deploy different strategies in calling things out, such as law enforcement. We have done that in the past, you know, we back the blue. I just want to make sure everybody knows that we really do. We love law enforcement. However, they are human. And I think this idea that our community feels that they're subhuman, that they're, 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 they don't make mistakes is um, just wrong. They do make mistakes. And we kind of help guide them in a way not to take away from them. They do fabulous work, but they do make mistakes. For example, we found a water bottle. Libby found a water bottle while we were searching the woods in the Brian Laundry case. And it ended up being Gabby Petito's. Um, for example, we were told at Kathleen Moore's that the immediate area had been searched. However, we were behind his house. We got on social media and said, this is where they need to search. Lo and behold, you know, a day later, two doors down in that same area, Kathleen Moore's body was found. 
So, you know, this idea that, that law enforcement does it right 100% all the time is incorrect. They do need some help. They can't do it all themselves. Perfect. So that is... Good job, Andrew. That, that, that is the, um, the interview that made law, <laughs> gave law enforcement heartburn, okay? I won't lie, right? Law enforcement doesn't like private citizens muckying in their business. Like I say, when I talk about police off the cuff, probably loathes people like me. But hey, you know what? We love, we love him because we love the law, the, the law enforcement perspective, right? So you guys get Bullhorn Betty's perspective. We do great work. We go out there. We, we, uh, with this case, we kicked in the front doors and said, hello, we're here. You know, this really was the case that we uh, pulled out all the stops on to get the answers to find out what had truly happened to Summer Wells. Uh, we did things that in, in some cases, I don't want to say barbaric, but you know, <laughs> They, they were very controversial actions. And this is going to be one of them. This is the video. This is the first time I met Allie. Guys, I'm hoping that this runs without any hitches. Um, but, you know, I don't know. But it's a half hour long. But I want you guys to see it fully unedited. There's a lot of people talking, a lot of people recording. It is a hot mess out there. So you're just going to have to try to listen and grab what you can. Uh, in your downtime, go back through this live and re-listen to it, right? I'm not going to stop it. I'm going to let it play completely through in its entirety, okay? Um, uh, just FYI. Wrong one. Try it. Let's try it again. I bet. I know. Well, we did talk to John last night. Okay. More yeah. importantly, no. More, okay. more importantly, I will tell you that. We talked to their neighbors. Meadow had not to say about anything. No, actually, they said a lot. They said a lot. They yeah. said a lot. Oh, my gosh. And one of them said something very upsetting. Listen, I tried to help the woman. Listen, Sherry, just stop. And, yeah, uh, you ain't gotta worry come about that. Come on, you just shut up. You're yeah. dead anyway. I don't, I don't care. I mean, like, would you try to help the woman like that? Oh. No, 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 no. Like, that's not what Don's saying. That's what people on the, like the Summer Wells side is saying. Alcohol. Is that alcohol. she said that you're I'm really Sherry, that she's really Leslie. <laughs> Did you see it? And then I'm like, no, that's not the case. And they're like, uh, how do you know? Do you well, know this kind of family? Um, yeah, bitch, like 20, over 20 years. Yeah, yeah, I know this family. My kids are attached to dogs. She watched all the stuff. My granddaughter's uh, animal you, The lady you're seeing on the screen, that's yeah. Allie right there. Oh, yeah. And the lady yeah. that right there, oh, that's, oh, that's oh, Allie's mom, Sherry. Oh, she receives summer. All the way around. She receives summer drugs and alcohol. I know what alcohol. Is, what, they alcohol. Say, what do you think? Why? What was the intention? Did, did Don, because they yeah, want to blame Don gave Hunter. Her, Don gave Candace drugs and I honestly her. think that um, they can As just, well it, the you know, it's really basic. The boys do. Take one word, Everything. switch it around, and make it something oh, completely different. Absolutely. And, and I think that it, that was the case, is that they changed trying? one no, word no. out and made it something did, completely did different. Was, or, uh, some of us were sexually molested on your way by the family. I mean, because we're hearing rumors. You do. By it's a no, battle. You've been through a lot. I know. Probably I watched it. Wow. Yeah. So, so do you feel? Said, but this what do you, what do you creep feel happened to him? said that he wasn't going to put it on. Uh, it could be in TV or Facebook. Like and he did. Where um, she wanted oh, to right? ask for a piece of candy. If you sign something saying that he could have, then you could have done something. Yeah. Yeah. That day, no, he just said that. Out, no, he wasn't. He wasn't going to go on. I've heard a lot of negative things about Chris. Oh, he did. Yeah. Cool. Mm. I, I and, then, and then he called my. Then he sent me a text message one night, and it was about three o'clock in the morning. He goes, "I checked. I came over at two a.m. to check on you guys, and you guys weren't home." Creep. 
They were sleeping. Mm, stupid. Yep, yeah, and then, uh, whatchamacallit there, Jeffrey Dunham, he put my son's address out here. Never see, uh, no, no, that's, that's no, crazy. No. Yeah, that's that's crazy. No, you gotta no, you gotta protect. I mean, protect Shirley people. Dunham. I'm Allison's mother. Oh, they oh, tried to come and. Uh, I'm her mother. Kidnap Hunter. Hunter. Take Hunter. Sherry, Sherry. Yeah, how are you? Yeah. yeah. They you put it out there. Is, is Hunter okay? Who we'll put it out uh, there? Huh? I gotta. Can I ask you something? This is gonna probably upset you, and I'm so sorry. I don't mean that's not my intention whatsoever. It really isn't. And uh, I just wanna I just wanna find out. You know what your thoughts are. I, I hate even having to ask you this. But you know, with with him going to the watering hole with Candace and her giving him alcohol, do you think that she was she did something with him? No, not with no, him. No. I think her with and her Candace, mother did something. You don't, you don't summer. think so? Yeah. Wait a minute. Her Candace was sexually probably did do something to Hunter. No, Adam she did say. not. Bullshit. Bullshit. Because I, I, the, the neighbors, the neighbors I think they are. That, that they there were was signs it. there. I didn't I like that. I warned them. As it is. I backed no, the fuck down. No, 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 no. I'm the great yeah, grandmother. Yeah. It was not yeah. yeah. denial. No, no. It's two thirds. I think they were. I'm going to say before. I think they because she gave him alcohol and shit. And the kid didn't know what was going on. And. Because that was the sentiments of the, the neighbors there, that she was a sexual deviant. A and so that's the only reason. I didn't mean to upset you, Kim. I didn't. Um, but that was the reason I was asking that. It bothers me, too. He used to make, make a mistake in Nordy with Allie. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right at the car. She came right up to my house. house. I, but she, I well, when she comes down, so, she'll come back out and I talk to us. I think she was I don't, I, don't, I don't think she ever went to plant it's flowers. Really I don't know one, no one yeah. who witnessed that she was out there planting flowers. A lot of I that think since she suffered them. a secondhand drowning. I agree. Uh, when I, Hunter, I agree. like she, you never was like a shell. Yeah, There's no way she could have drowned. She could have slipped on a rock that was covered with algae. Yeah. It doesn't take long. People think that, this is what people think. They think that when somebody goes under that, that if they are not under very long, it matters about how much water you get in your lungs right. and yeah, you can get water in your lungs in seconds at best, you know yeah. and what's to say she didn't hit her head yeah how long was she under before hunter realized that she was under water yeah why didn't candace yeah i very much believe that these children were unsupervised well, yeah. In lots of places. We were also told by the same neighbor oh, that these children got a bath maybe once a week. You're right. And, you're right. Right. and, and I, if you're lucky, and the father would take the little girl in the shower and brought her downstairs to go to sleep one night naked, no diaper, no nothing. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Like Ryan won't even give Addie a bath. Like yeah. too many, I'm sorry. too yeah. too many things can be said, said anymore. Yeah. So like the you know my daughter, my daughter's father won't even give her a bath because. Yeah. You know, yeah, but why, when I was growing, that's why I tell people. You guys, I would not stop this in the middle of the interview. I lied to you, and I, I apologize for lying, but this goes right into a conversation uh, that um, was going on on one of these channels saying that these kids were well taken care for, they were clean, because it comes down to the um, um, clothing. The clothing, and I was talking about that, I think it was on Dolly's channel, I think it was just uh, recently in the last few days, I've only been on Dolly's channel like uh, two times over, and one of them was over the Summer Wells case. And one of the conversations that I had was, you know, all these outfits that Summer Wells, you couldn't even get this woman to give these kids a freaking bath. How in the hell did she change her clothes three different times that day? It does not make sense. It does not make sense. It does not bode with the evidence. It does not bode with the, the past behavior of Candace. This lady did not shower. She went days, days without showers. We, we had Don, I've got Don on an interview with me telling me how his, how his wife does not take showers and that how he has to take showers with his kids. He just throws them all in the tub and showers with them. And he even said that the boys and him would shower with Summer. And, 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 and Marissa was on the phone. She was with us all at that time. And she goes, well, that must be a big shower. And you know what he said? No, actually, it's kind of small. And you got a little girl that's coming up to what, what height? In a shower with four guys, four boys? Or at least two of the boys, because I don't know if the oldest one was there. But that's what he said. He said that himself out of his own mouth. His wife does not take showers. They're saying that she doesn't take showers and the kids are never clean. 
So I don't know where all of a sudden this, how, how clean she is. I don't know if you guys seen her house. This lady's not a clean person. And Hunter saying that she does laundry. This lady, I, I'm telling you, these kids have gone to, gone to school with dirty clothes before. Okay. You don't have to believe me. I'm not here for, for your belief. I'm here to bring you guys the information you need to hear and see. These people aren't good. That's all I can say. They're not good. When I was growing up, you know, nobody thought anything of it, but with all it this- It was a rarity, it was news then. Yeah. Now, if like you go a day without hearing it, it's news. Yeah. Crazy. Can somebody go get Kim and just tell her I'm sorry? I wasn't trying. I don't think she was out about it. Yeah, she was out about her mom. Yeah. Well, I just would like to get some some other questions. Are people come and harass you? Oh no. No, but they say it, they do it to her on her phone. Oh, that's yeah. not fair. She was at a football game watching her daughter cheerlead with her, her daughter's boyfriend. And somebody took what? a picture of her and posted on Facebook like she can't be happy that her daughter is cheerleading. Right. Like she's supposed to say inside that like somebody... She but she know. has nothing to do with this. She's a she, yeah. this, she's, this, Hunter's, she's Hunter's mom. But this Hunter. this whole situation, so, you guys are still victims of this. This is yeah, not you know what I'm saying. You're not. You're not. She, she's Hunter's mom. That, that's enough for yeah. people have such a, a simple mindset. Yeah. People think that Hunter did something. Hunter saved her. Right. right. You know what I'm saying. My my question is, and I I just want to know who's seen her plant flowers with her mom and her grandmother. Right. But I find it odd. I find personally find it odd that they constantly go to that flower bed to, to justify why that was there and it just kind of gives me the ebg yeah ebgbs about it yeah would you would you mind going and getting kim so we can just Allie. oh is her name Allie? Yeah. sorry <laughs> Allie. i don't know what why, why did i call her kim i'm sorry thank you again first time i met Allie. And her and I this beautiful bedroom for continued our, our conversations and our friendships. I know. I called her Kim. I, 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 like That's I said, like, this, her this bedroom looked like a dungeon. Looked like an absolute dungeon. Okay. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I really didn't. Well, the case, you didn't upset her, and the case kind of just gets her. You know, oh, I can only these, imagine. But, but you have to understand, like many people I know think that, like that, Allie. And, yeah. and it's not Hunter's fault. Hunter's no. And Allie, you guys are victims fault. too. Allie, I want. I just you want know. you to know that you guys are victims of this oh, this nonsense morning, too, and you As you don't morning. deserve what? what what's going on. You know, at I'm all. Allie, I'm Allie Bolitly, and I have one of the biggest voices in the YouTube community. If there's anything that you want to say. Please say it. Just say it now, and yeah. I promise that that message will be heard loud and clear. Don the was on. Mother and grandmother knows where that baby is. Yeah. Yes, I think we all agree. I think we all. Don was on YouTube the other night. Out of lady text messaged me on Facebook. She even went through some of my friends list, and she got a hold of my sister in New York, and it was. Like, oh. Don was on Facebook and he said, well, YouTube, and he said that my 12 year old daughter even said her name and what we call her. I heard it. Has a badass body. Has a body from yeah. fucking hell. Yeah. We just actually, we I, I just heard that this morning. And we were just, ta we were just talking about how disgusting that was. Yes. Like, I just heard that today. Up my mouth yeah. all open. What was your thoughts when you heard that? Fucking sick motherfucker needs something like that. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I, just, I mean, we can I, catch charges. That's it. Like, no grown ass man needs to be talking about a 12 year old like that. Yeah. And I know that you he want also me? even yeah, gave. Yeah, great father of the year for all the people alcohol, that act on well. He gave my grandkids alcohol and did something. Oh, but she would just stop. Don, 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 I'm all right. Yeah, we're sorry. When? When we used to hang up there. And they used to stay the night, but I would, I stayed the night once up there, didn't like it, and then it went to kids, I thought she was a hot mom. Ma, see, I didn't hear that, but I heard that, like, I didn't hear that, but I heard that, like, I heard that, like, I heard that, like, I heard that, like, well, they have but yeah she's going to be pregnant uh, and then, she, if she's not already if she's not already uh, some full yeah bye guys thank you so much um what about you you said about um 70 yeah 
You have a five-year-old daughter, and she's a mental illness. I don't have a five-year-old daughter. It's my great-grandchild. Uh, um, she has passed just to no. go, and uh, gotcha. that is in a mental institution. And she's been there since March. Oh, yeah, she ain't getting out anytime soon. But either. we're not... Mm. When Jeremy sat there and put my address on, fake, on a YouTube live. What, what kind of drug? What would it be? I have to, I have to sit on the porch. I know, well, we, not now, but in the I, summer. I don't I know. Watch. Yeah, yeah, you have to. What about, what about all these people go? You guys are lucky. You guys do have a nice little park here. And, uh, her mother's name was Candace. They too. sit Did you ever over meet her? there. Yeah, I know. Like, I think my kids can't even have a life. Like, you see her do drugs ever? No, she just popping pills. Her pills. Yeah, you're being harassed. Pills. Just Did because you you're on the children? See, See, my son was in school. He was getting that, harassed every day. Some kids in school. So locals are, are harassed. Oh, yeah. And people in the She did hit him. Yeah. Did you hear that? The kid. Her kid. I don't get on my kids. Like, yeah. My kid. But I just want to let you guys know, you guys are victims of this nonsense too, and you know we we do care about you guys, you know, and we're sorry everything's going um, going on. It's it's not fair. It just isn't. My little girl is buried on their property. That, that's I, what we've I been saying to too. God you guys. I'm telling you guys, we are all on the same page. Why, else won't anyone, why won't they let any authorities on How that property to search? Don't they owe like If it was my kids, acres. I'd be like, have at it, people. Yeah. yeah. If you got nothing to Matter hide, fact, just put no trespassing signs all over the all over. trees yeah. around yeah. the house. Oh, this yeah. is under surveillance, a trespassing. No one can come on my yeah. property. He doesn't even want packages going up to his thing. He has a no. drum at the at the as a driveway at 110. That's garbage. Yeah. And, and why was the grandmother anybody. allowed to leave state? Yeah, yeah. Under a federal allowed? criminal investigation. The no, they're not allowed to. Yeah. None of them are allowed well, to leave. Was, the I knew Michigan. she wasn't allowed, but I remember she took off because she didn't want to answer questions because she's been through that this before. Back. Candace's yeah. mother, Candace, and well, her, her daughter, daughter Rosemary Blight. Yeah, that's what they call her, Grandis. Candace's Grandis. sister went missing. Yeah. Went missing, and I know where that girl's buried because they told me a story one night that where they used to live, it was a cement driveway. Her kids were three and four and said, Mommy's there, Mommy's there. Oh, Why didn't they ever like, Where would that be? Like, where was that at? Wisconsin or whatever. In Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. That's probably why she, she's gone yeah. from Wisconsin. Kansas got really drunk one night and said, My sister was supposed to meet someone at a bar, her friends, and yep. she never made it. That's, that's, that's yeah. Who, who would have been responsible for uh, her sister's death, the mom or Candace? Both, probably. Or Candace, anyway, because I know Candace didn't. Which one? Her. The daughter. Okay. But you think you think CPS should ever put the boys back? No, in the house? No, 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 not at all. Sorry, please no. No, no. no, no. no. I, I, I appreciate yeah. your passion. No, it that's seems like you know, and you you know. Yeah. Those kids come here in the summer before summer died. They're filthy, and not so funny. is the mother. They didn't. The they didn't ever cook dinner. Waiting. They always ate um, frozen pizza and whatever else. The little one, Waylon, he showed up here and he had a third degree burn. On what? His oh, arm. wait a minute. Yeah, on a, a wood stove down there in the stove. basement. Yeah. She Not showed here. me that. Not here. He, he, a wood stove down in the basement where Candace, our um, summer, was slept? Yeah. 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 Where they all they, slept. The they all slept and, down there. She all the kids slept down, down in that there. basement? Down all in there. one room? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm summer slept with mommy and daddy in the bed. They didn't even have a door on the bathroom. But no. now they do because no. the welfare oh, says she has to have one. They sectioned that whole part off. Yeah, they sectioned that off. Did they? Yep. Yeah. Because we went up there. Chris, Chris, um, whatever his name is, there. When he did her interview with her, she took him through her nasty house. Because when she got attacked, she the came down to my house and wanted me to go out with her. So I went and I said, she wanted us to go up and visit, but the kids wanted to see the dogs. And I, yeah. so. I only did it for the kids' sake, and that's when she had the bathroom petitioned off. But it's sad. It's sad, it's sad, and we want answers. I mean, I know. we want answers. So do we. we want I want answers. I want to know what happened right. to her. I yeah, because she was that. over here. You guys loved Mother her, and they we loved her like she was our own. Yeah, they should I, I really tried to help people. with the kids I'm and sorry. everything. Yeah. I let them spend my night at my oldest. house, gave them a fully cooked meal. They were they look like their own little sister. Like yeah. TB, TBI yeah. speak to you? Yeah. yeah. Um, what'd they say? Like, what were they asking? Uh, they just, just went over the 
did that day it would happen. Yeah. They won't. They wouldn't tell us anything. But they wouldn't tell us nothing. But how many? Wait. How many TBI came? The first time it was. Bobby was here. Well, that was later on that night. That was. Bobby's uh, a police see. guy. Let's see. The first time they came over, there was two, and then I got another phone call, and they came back. Yeah, that was late. No, that was when I was getting ready to go to work, remember? Oh, yeah. Leslie was here, she had to leave and go to work. And they were gonna, <laughs> they were gonna point me for that day, and she said, don't you dare. And then I was gonna go to work, mom was gonna bring me, and late, and they came back. And then that uh, guy that uh, tried to kidnap Hunter. Yep. And then what? Kidnap Hunter. Jeremy, uh, Duggan, Duggan, Duggan. Yeah. Yeah, he's he from, worked with uh, bikers with against no Georgia. He uh, Georgia. bikers against trafficking, human trafficking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the child abuse. And so, what, what, why did he try to kidnap Hunter? Hunter's father had sent him, had reached out to him, I guess, Here. and was concerned for my son's safety because of this welding. But he didn't care ah, until it's freezing. it's freezing out there. He didn't care until there was a reward out for summer. And then him and Jeremy came up with an idea to come up and get Hunter. And I was at the football field when I read it on Facebook, plain as day. Jeremy Duggan left the thing saying that his name and everything. He was called, he had a uh, transfer order to transfer my child from Tennessee to New York. I panicked. I went to the police department. They told me if anyone shows up, call them. They'd be right over. Now they, well, oh, no like one showed up that night. Acres of land. So. I went to work. Grandma was here with the kids. Eleven, right? I think there's more than that. Kids. Grandma was here with the kids. I'm on my lunch break. They owned over. And I get my phone's going blast. Acres of land. Listed. We were I mean, on a couple. I got people calling me. Used to ride the boys. Used to ride. Hunter the just sent me a snapshot of this. They're on their way. There's They're a lot on their of way. Old, there's a big. Old I didn't even clock out from work. I said I got a family emergency. Bye. What yeah. The and hill? called that? Grandma up. So listen, that someone's going one, to get you and Hunter. At the bottom of the hill, I never the car, that one. To go to the safe right location. But if you yeah. down the road a little bit. That's got to be nerve-wracking for you guys. For those that are just tuning in, so um, ha Allie had a medical um, situation uh, that cut off oxygen to her brain. And she's been in an ICU and we, there was some, in my opinion, I don't think it was, it may have been nefarious. We'll, we'll have a discussion about it, but um, it, it sounds like she's brain dead and um, on life support. So there's been a lot of rumors going around that she's already gone. In, in part, she is because, again, she's brain dead and it's only going to be a matter of time before they're going to eventually have to take her off that life support. So um, there was a lot of people <clears throat> that were trying to get um, Andrew uh, down to support his son. And then people found out that she has not yet, you know, fully passed away. She's still being um, kept alive by artificial means and um you know so i don't really know what's going on with this i know there's a lot of people trying to pull resources to get andrew to his son um but you know again i i believe things will happen the way they are if he's supposed to be with his son he will be with his son um but i you know reviewed the information and I don't want to allege one way or, or the other because this situation is a grave situation. Okay. Period. It's a grave situation, no matter how you look at it, um, whether she's still being kept alive artificially or not, it sounds to me like she's gone. Um, and as hard as that is, I mean, it's hard for me because I knew Allie. I liked Allie. Um, I, I felt bad for Allie and I stuck up for Allie, um, on this channel because I felt she was being unfairly treated. So this does hurt me personally. Okay. This, this, I, I am feeling, um, I I'm feeling grief over this news personally. Okay. But I also want people to understand that Allie, she wanted answers for summer. She came under a lot of heavy scrutiny to try to find those answers. And, uh, you know, people, in, in all fairness with Hunter, I believe he, 
no matter what's coming out of his mouth right now, I believe he um, witnessed a traumatic event. His mother told me multiple times that he has never been the same since he came back from that one specific trip. Um, this is something she's told me over and over again, multiple times during multiple different um, dates and times. So not something that was just, you know, right then and right there. She says he's acting odd. No, this is something she's had to deal with since that day. And she let us know again, multiple times. So I understand trauma. Yeah, you know, I've I've dealt with trauma myself. I've lived through trauma. Many of you guys have lived through trauma. Some of you guys forget the trauma. Your brain has a a coping mechanism in it that when trauma happens and it's so great, your body has a way of of fixing itself and and by way of removing certain memories the way that they were. So if we were to take that and apply that to Hunter, then maybe Hunter may, you know, at this point, he may be going off of stuff he heard now, as opposed to what he knows, because depending on how extensive that trauma is and what, how much he forgot, how many details he forgot could affect him. Um, we've talked about my, my personal journey and how I remember everything. And my sister that grew up with me, um, she had this, coping mechanism that happened to her. And she doesn't remember really um, our elementary school, our uh, middle school. Uh, she vaguely remembers our high school. And all that, all those memories for my sister are very faint, very foggy, and some just completely gone out of her recollection completely. And so I understand this a little bit more. And I don't know if, if Hunter is intentionally misrepresenting information, I have to think he's not. Um, and I have to think that that interview with Chris was closer to the time that these events happened, that that would be more of a truthful statement, not that not truthful, more accurate. I want to say accurate because I don't want to I don't want to pin truth or lying on a kid that has been through some traumatic events. I truly believe he's been through traumatic events. Um, I know that again, because Allie said so, and we're going to be probably most likely hearing that, uh, we're somewhat through this. We're about 18 minutes through this, uh, interview this, I don't even know if we want to call it an interview. It was basically a roadside conversation. Like we're out there on the, on the, um, sidewalk and, and just basically talking about the situation. Yes. PTSD. I really do think there's something going on because I've had conversations with Allie, um, at length you know, private conversations with her at length. So I, I don't want to say Hunter is lying. I just don't, I, I'm not prepared to say that because I, I don't believe he is. I believe his uh, brain's playing tricks on him in some of these, um, some of these situations, if that makes sense. Sorry. Oh, well, they used to ride the dirt mm -hmm. bikes. And like I said, I'd sit on the porch. I didn't care like about the housework. I'd sit on the porch. And Anybody comes near there, there, there was this, you know. And uh, so. And the kids would wander off. We all met up the at the secret location. Mm -hmm. First, I went to the Kingsport City Police Department, told everyone there. They said, we don't want to know where anyone's at. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know who's watching. Or I not. agree, Linda mm -hmm. Lou. We're going to discuss uh, so, uh, Andrew a little bit. They said, if they My show assessment. Up, we told him not to show up because they called him. Told him they were coming. That we were going to. That they would get in trouble. So me and Leslie came here. We changed clothes because we we're going to go swimming. And the cops wanted us to check out the area. <laughs> we came here and got ready. Back again, I'm on the phone telling everyone to stay put. Yeah. And five seconds later, the white truck from Georgia showed up. They beeped their horn. They wanted my son to climb out his bedroom window, leave some of his stuff on the side of the house, and get in the car and leave with him. They are going to bring him to his father's. Mm -mm, no. He ain't taking my kid nowhere. So we, me, Leslie, and her husband met Jeremy Duncan right here on my porch, toe to toe. And I was not pissed. So they actually made contact with your son without your knowledge. Oh, yeah. Wow. And, yeah. And, co and, and convinced him to meet them? No, he was scared. Oh, and he, well, he let you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He let everyone know. He was he was taking screenshots of everything. He gave us all of his uh, online information. And, 
Wow. That does seem you guys had a message for Don Wells, what would it be? <laughs> She's Keep too mouth um, shut about there. That's what we call her, and that's what we call her. Keep your mouth. That's got You're gonna to pay it. for what you did to not only your kids but I ours I as well. Yeah. And what's the message uh, if you have a message for Candace Wells? Okay. Same thing. Listen, she was on um, Dr. Phil. And what did you think of that interview? That we talked to the people. We talked to the people at City Hall, and they asked us, "They're like, what did you think of that cornbread mafia? Have you ever heard of that? No, no, no okay. never. All right. We interviewed the author of Cornbread Mafia here on this channel. Um, uh, maybe we'll review that uh, interview, but there's no affiliation with this case in the Cornbread Mafia, and I think it was well documented that that was not true. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there. Good. She knows. She knows. That's why she walked off the stage. She I knows. feel like I'm being interrogated all over Can, again. Let me ask you. If, if, if Hunter was missing, and it, which you know that if a child's missing, you're going to get interrogated. But if, if your child was missing, would you give a damn? If they came in and looked and searched your property, hell no. Would Go you ahead. would you give a damn whether Terrible. whether you felt interrogated or not if it came Terrible. if it if it resulted in finding your child? Because no, I've had a missing kid before. Yeah. Yeah. My 17 year old. Well, she will be 17 in a few days. She was 12. She was 12. She got in with the wrong group of kids. Mm -hmm. She had an older boyfriend. And he was controlling and, and uh, uh, like she kept running off with him. Every time she ran off, whether she was in state's custody or not, I was out here beating that pavement day in, day out. Yeah, exactly. She was. I missed a whole week and from she would run work from looking uh, for her. places, the lockup centers and, I didn't and everything. Care where she, she was, me. when I found out where she was, I went banging on the chick's door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So then everybody else. Why do you feel like when, like, have you just had it with Candace? Like, do you feel like she's ruined your life in a way? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, really? see, mom had a falling out. Ma. I fell out. I warned her not mom to Mom stopped being there. friends I with her and everything. I asked her not to. I gave I, her the benefit of a doubt because I know how it I is not having my no daughter and we got no And I really tried being there for her. But she crossed the line. I had money that started coming up missing and everything. And me, I'm the type of person, I have to do it myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and listen to people and what they say about others, this, that, and the third, because I know how it is. Well, you get that from me. Bro. Did Candace ever cheat on Don Wells? Yes. Oh, yeah. With who? Yes. Like who? Huh. Oh, my God. Who's Animal. that guy that, we, that she made? One day she met a guy down here at the Shell Station. But took him to go oh fishing and took swim him, with us. Took him swimming with us because she felt sorry for him. And then, bought him everything. Brought him up to her house. Told Donnie that it was told my friend. Told Donnie that it was her friend. And I told Donnie that it wasn't my friend. Because they tried saying it was, no, I'm like, uh-uh, nope. And what happened? Nope. I guess so the guy he stayed, stayed there the, for a couple days. He stayed days. there for a couple days, and then Donnie got sick of him because all the good guy did was talk shit. And he didn't know anything dropped about Dropped him work. off. And what was his name? I don't even remember that guy. I don't know, but he used to work up to was the... Was he a younger guy? Like, yeah. Like, an older guy? He's probably in his 30s at that. Oh, wow. wow. Maybe 40s. Cause I think he was in his 30s. Let me ask you. you know how any other times? Yeah, this is all the stuff times? that's going on with those kids yeah, in the yeah, house, by the way. Boyfriend. What? Your boyfriend. What? Your boyfriend. Jose. Jose. Oh, uh -huh. Jose was your ex-boyfriend. Well, we heard about that guy's name. Yeah, we did. Yeah, he was. He's supposed to be my boyfriend. Is that the one where Candace or Don threatened? and then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> well, see, he came up with Hunter's father, so they were all gonna stay up to Candace's. And me and him, we were, we started clicking, and and so, they got so together. What? Wait a minute, and they got together. And we got together. So J Candace was drunk and jealous, and started being all over him. And I'm like, you know what? No, you and her had an argument. Yes. Yeah. And you come home, and His Royal Highness stayed up there with, with your kids. Yes. And. <laughs> we had to get the sheriff. Yeah, I had to call the sheriff's department to go up there and get my kids because that morning she threatened to blow my head off. Yeah. Oh, and geez. Was, yeah. yeah. She threatened to blow she threatened your Because off. I told her mother, her mother came in because she Great had Great mother of the year, huh? Candace's. Candace and her mom got in an argument over Jose. Because Candace's mother wanted Jose too. Because Candace's oh, mom wanted Oh, my goodness. Jose. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I see you. And he I'm quick with these buttons when I'm paying attention. Yeah. Oh, my God. Are you That's with Jose anymore? Hell no. What's Jose's last name? 
I don't even remember. I, I'm not, Tiffany from? remembers. We talked about this like a, a while so did back. did you call the police here on, on, on them when she threatened to blow your head off? Or did you call no, them? I went to work and I gave her till... <laughs> I went to work and I gave her till 11 o'clock, gave her mom gas money to bring my kids back to my mother or my grandmother's. They didn't. And I said, all right, now we're going to play. You want to play games? I called Kingsport City Police Department. They told me how to call Sullivan County Sheriff's Department. Called Sullivan County. They told me how to call Hawkins County. So I had to go meet Hawkins County up at the church. And they had to go up and get with my mother and get the kids. So you did make a police report? Yeah. We have that police report. Oh, I don't know. You called them. Sullivan County or whatever yeah. county there they were. When was this? When did this happen? September. About a year ago, don't Oh, a year ago. Yeah. Let me ask you, you, like you were just saying just a little bit ago that, you know, if, if your child was missing, you'd be beating the pavement. How how often has Candace and Don went out searching for their daughter that you guys know about? I don't, all I know is about the times, like, I know they were down here in the summertime parade. Because okay. we almost hit Candace on the way to work. Hey. You almost you hit it with the car? But they never had any pictures. She walked down oh. in front of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she was probably drunk. No. no, they were walking in the parade and she was walking and she almost walked in front of them. But, yeah, but how many, how often have you heard of them actually going out, passing out None. flyers, asking None. questions, None. finding was, out? They never had she, pictures. They, they were holding a uh, prayer vigil over here in Borden Park somewhere. Yes, because like once me and a week. Sure were up there at a birthday party. Okay, so they were just holding visuals. They weren't yeah, actually looking weren't for searching. her. I haven't no. seen anything about them out here looking for that baby. The night that. What about the church? Right, they go to that. Ooh, they locked us out. Yeah. What about that seven? We were there event? today. I don't know about that church. I don't know the nothing night about that church. The night that she went missing, she called. Because the whole time I hung up with her, she never said anything about, about church. So they weren't really holy when no. you were around them. Like it seems like an act. She's gone. I go. It seems like an act. And I was up there for most of the summer. Yeah. She goes. So they weren't Summer's regular gone. parishioners at the church. They may have went she once in a while, but definitely not regular. So sorry for that. Yeah. The neighbors pulled us aside and talked to us and said, you have to realize that these people are evil and violent, even evil and violent. And that they can hear screaming. Keep screaming regularly. Is that the people up on the hill? Yes. Don beat the hell out of her on YouTube. It was on her channel. That was you? Yeah, she I, goes, well, I didn't see him do it. She the said, they just saw you. Yeah, maybe he cursed me out? That was because I asked him when, when's Summer's birthday. That was That me. was you. Yeah. That was me. That was okay. me. So that was you and your YouTube channel. I'm, I'm Bullhorn Betty. Would you like to come on their channels and, and, and speak sometime? Oh, I mean, you skills. should get your, oh, you you should get your we message out. We were not even supposed to talk to you. Oh, gotcha. Oh. It would be nice. Maybe once this all wraps up, you guys can, because you guys are victims you too. You guys were really nice. Once it all yeah. ends, my statements will be heard. Yeah. Okay. Good. Do you expect it to be end soon? No. No. I don't why? know. They know where her body is, and it's. If they don't let anybody up on the property, then that means she's probably good too. She's Come up on. there. And so they, they stopped up all law enforcement from going, going up there and doing any more searches. Nothing, you know? No, I know there on was their so property. Yeah. On I mean, their property, right I know, up around their house. I know last week they had a they had a search team out there for two or three days. Yes. Two, but yeah. was it on their property or was it? I think it was by their property. Yeah, the brush, the high brush. The high brush. I, I was live it wasn't during on that. their property. Cause no, it was by, it, by like vines because that brush they couldn't get to before. Before, yeah. because of that. I have so to there say, there was a river too, or something. Because yeah. I'll regret it if I don't say it. You seem to really, your intuition is on spot. Like, I'm like, yeah, I, I like the way you talk, I like the way you speak. It's very um, refreshing. You know, there's no filter. No. What do you honestly think of the grandmother? Because the grandmother, the grandmother, she's Sherry, we, we, she asked me, I don't like it, the woman. Did she give you a creepy vibe? Yes, because she wanted Allie to be her daughter because her daughter was dead. Weird she stuff, was huh? trying to edge her away from me. Now, she's my oldest grandchild, you know. And uh, we've always been close. She did draw a wedge between me and Allie, but I never, like, uh... But it sounded like... She I, I was there for Ellie one So, though. let me ask you something. Do you, 
You think Don Wells went to work? Did he go to work that day? We don't, don't know. We don't know. Don't we know. don't know for nope. sure. She came here in the morning. Picked up, picked up Hunter about 10, 10, 30 in the morning. Yeah. And these were her words. We're going to go fishing. I want to take summer fishing. Not the boys. Not the boys. No boys were with her. Just a stupid grandma. Grandma's in the hospital because the boys were in Gatlinburg and the boys kicked her in her bad knee. Oh, she has an iron knee or something. You know, you know what I'm. She had knee replacement. In a the, bum knee. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm like, sorry, right, it's she just. She had all of that medication. It's just Hunter and Summer, you know. Really. What's yeah, gonna happen? You're going to a public place to go fishing. That That's like his little after. sister. Just because me and Candace had issues, doesn't mean I'm gonna stop the kids from seeing one another. It's, right. it's stupid. So, they dropped Hunter back off here at 2:30. They're parked right in front of that telephone pole. This pole. Yep. Oh, that's right. This one. The way she always did. Yep. Like she owns the road. At 2:30. Okay. At 2:30 p.m. And that's it. How, what but was your you don't reaction? know. She never said that. You don't know if Don actually went to work nope. that day or no. Nope. What was your reaction when you found out Summer is officially missing? I, I, I thought it was. I thought okay. she was lying to me because I thought she was drunk, and I told her that. And she I was no, at the gone. football field. I was at the football field. My phone was dead. It was in Leslie's van, charging. <laughs> so my son called Leslie's phone. I said. Mom's got to call Candace Summers missing. I said, stop playing with me. She's just pulling my leg to get me to talk to her. And then, you know, it's just like, and so we got in the van after football practice. We went to the cookout, I was ordering everybody food, got on my phone, and plain as day, was an emergency child alert on Facebook from Hawkins County Emergency Services. I said, holy shit, she's really missing. That's when you called me. I called my mother, I said, check this. I said, Summer's missing. And what I said, no, you're missing. I said, yeah, it's on Facebook. So then I hung up the phone with her. Oh, I called you. Candace. Yeah, I'm with that. She didn't answer. Okay. So. The I one talking her on is Allie. No answer. Tried calling her on Snapchat. She didn't answer. Use my daughter's Snapchat. Didn't answer. Came here. Called. She called us back. No shed of tears. No nothing. I said, "What's wrong?" She goes, "Summer's missing." I go, "What do you no, mean? This summer's gone." Summer's gone. I said, yeah, "What do you mean? I summer's said. gone?" Like, I started interrogating her. I said, "What do you mean? I just seen you guys at two thirty when you dropped Hunter off. What happened in between? Well, we came home." And we planted flowers on the side of the house. And mom was in her trailer. Summer wanted a piece of candy, so she went into mom's trailer. Mom gave her a piece of candy. Summer wanted to go into the house and play with the boys. So I watched her go into the house to play with the boys. I went in the camper to fix mom's bandage on her knee. And then she went. Over to the then house. she went back. So then to the she house. went back. She goes, I went back over to the house, asked the boys if they seen Summer. They said she was downstairs in the basement playing. I said, Did you look in the basement? Yeah, I tore it apart. I said, Was the door shut locked? Was it open? Because that door always stayed shut and locked. Yeah. And there used to be a couch in front of it. Boom. She goes, She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? What when, was her, what was she, was she crying? No. No. no she crying. didn't shed a tear. No tear. Not one no, tear. No, she, she faced me. She what? wasn't hysterical. She was no. just calm. She did you actually phone, see Summer in the car? She crying. She, yeah. When they pulled up? Yeah, yeah. She, so you saw her. She did. Yeah. She, was she alive? Was she I asleep? Know. But it was hot out there. She day. was sleeping. They had the windows rolled up. It was hot The out. windows were rolled up, and I wanted to give her a hug, no and she said I couldn't give her a hug. So right there, that... That's that where I said, to you? I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, you then. heard of a uh, secondary drug. I said, I always hugged that baby. And whenever she so whether she's name. sleeping or not. Oh, yeah. she would wake up. She, she would wake up and crawl in my arms. Oh. Or you as well. She'd be out of that car in a heartbeat in my house. Someone loved her. She loved a lot of outside people yeah. that were 
she was clinging yeah. onto a lady at the church. Did Hunt, did Hunt Everybody else like but her parents. Was going on in the car? Like she was, did you no. ask him? He like, wouldn't talk. Was she alive? Was she he awake? Was, he wasn't in the right state of mind. When he I'm just back. learning right now that ha that Allie has passed away, guys. I'm, I'm hearing right now from Jennifer Coffin Daffer that um, that Allie has has passed away. Allie has passed away. That's what I'm hearing right now. <sighs> My whole body is filled with goosebumps. This is what it says. It says Hunter's mom, Allie, has passed away. First, condolences to the family. Second, did she ever reveal all she knew? The Summer Wells case is the John Bonet case. Ellie is beguiled, and those uh, scenes weren't treated as homicide scenes initially. Will justice ever be served? This is what um, this is what we are learning right now. Again, it sounds like. Um, Let's take a few moments. You say I make you nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning, you wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be saved. Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change oh. You think I would look pretty On your arm once you cover up my bruises And battle scars But it always ends the same Can't bear the things I've had to face Got you crying on your knees in pain Oh, some things never change Never change Asking for forgiveness, cause you should know only bullshit with the angels. Fear to go, but you keep trying to get too close. Save myself by turning into stone. So save your judgment, cause you just don't know. But some things never change, never change. Oh, they say I should feel guilty and change my ways, even crumple bodies in my wake. Swear So delicate and so mundane And they keep coming like a moth to a flame Oh, some things never change, never change Okay, guys, so um, I wasn't kind of expecting that um, this early on, um, <clears throat> but may she rest in peace, and um, I know that lady fought for this young, this young baby, and um, we'll never know her truth. This is the last truth that I have for her, and I'm going to play it. He said, fine. And then I didn't know anything about the alcohol at that time. Mm -mm. His girlfriend's mom picked him up about 3, 30, 4 o'clock. And when she came back with him, she goes, I got something to tell you. Hunter's got something to tell you. I'm like, what? He goes, K 
Candace gave me alcohol. And those puff bars. That day. Yes, yes. and puff bars puff at bars. the... Swimming hole? Yep. I said, what? What kind of alcohol? Those twisted teeth. What are puff bars? They are a nicotine type of bait. Why would you do that? Yeah, they... they Why not? And the kids all like it. Okay. All the kids do them around here, like... So, so is, she, it, is it possible Hunter was under the influence? Yes. Yeah. I think huh. so. I believe so. Yeah. I really What was his really demeanor when he Candace showed up here? She said she said that he was like he, not himself. He was not his self. I knew was something quiet. was wrong. He did. And he will not talk. Hmm? He's scared no. shitless. Yeah. And maybe they threatened him because I know them to threaten kids. And later on, my grandkids. Listen, she, later crazy. on that night, Hunter shut down. And I didn't even know anything. And uh, he had texted his girlfriend something. Her mom called me. I spazzed. Hunter was not himself. Mm -hmm. I called him a friend of mine because Grandma was home. Yeah, sure and, you'd come get me. Yep. I had to put my dirty clothes back on. Oh my on. God, right. even you're almost in tears. And I said, what's wrong? He wanna talk to me, he wanna come out of it or nothing. He was just sitting there rocking back and forth. My homegirl had to come and we had all we could do to get him out of that house out of his room and sit him at this table. I had to call the TBI back up. Thank you, blessed mama. God bless you. Do you think he was traumatized? Oh, yeah. Do you yeah, think something happened at that I water think, hole that he I saw? I he sobered up, or whatever you want to call it, and you we remember talk about it. Maybe she did drown there. Oh. Maybe she did. He will not talk about it. But he will not talk that, about that sounds, it. That's, that's pretty back. bad in and of itself, you know? that. And sorry. I get in trouble because uh, he refused to go to school. Yeah. Candace had received a phone call that day in the car. No. Candace said to him, did you say anything? Oh, the day after he was interrogated, we were interrogated by the TBI. Candace had the walls of shorts in the house. Mm -hmm. With her grandmother, well, with her mother. I'm in the bathroom, so I can't come to my son's rescue unless I take the toilet with me. And I said, Hunter, there. I'm like, who's here? He's like, Candace. I'm like, oh, great. I'm taking a shh. Yeah. And by the time I got out here, they were already left. I said, what did she say to you? What did they say to you? Did they threaten you? He goes, no, Mom, it's good. He goes, all they did was ask me what I told the TBI because they said that. That I could tell them because they're the ones that sent them here. I said, first of all, I don't think they're the ones that sent them here. I said, you're on a YouTube, you're on YouTube in a TikTok video. It was a matter of time before they came and got you because I was going to call them myself right. and tell them, hey, look, my son was with them that day. Like, he's the one that's in the TikTok video because they're the ones that sent them. Who's this boy? Who's this boy that's in the TikTok video? They probably did threaten them because they they threatened. Uh, we had an incident. I had an incident. Have with you them. guys thought about getting him um, into a psychiatrist just to see yes. if they can help? Yes. Yeah. Well, he's and, he's uh, getting the help CPS now. Came yeah. And uh, they came down and to interrogate I my just, um, granddaughter. I really would like to Matter say to fact, him, uh, but Candace, you call me name. You want to take my you know, if there's something on your mind, please tell them. They can help. They can. Slam the door, cussed her out. So you have to tell him because mother, he won't listen mother. to me. Yeah. And Candace and um, have you guys talked to him and, about uh, the has, events like since the then? Ran off or tried said, to? I'm here. She's fine. Has the story changed and, uh, at all? No. Nope. So come back. So I said, "What did you say to her?" Yeah. Well, she goes, "I just said that uh, yes. after what she said. I asked her what she said to see. Yes. I said, "What do you mean?" If you got nothing I mean, to hide, a million years I never saw. before even summer came up. Listen. This had to deal with uh, giving kids Pizza weed because a phone like call came in from CPS well, saying that I, I would give the, the kids weed. <laughs> My grandkids said no for the paper kids. Oh, they don't put no. And so no she came one. down. Uh, like, um, yeah. like I think about that little girl every day. Right. My granddaughter. Yeah. Like I put myself. No, I get it. I'm like, so now, what would I do if I see her? On, like with someone in Walmart? Because if someone obviously had her, when he, they would when see they her. Yeah. Her. Before she would. Her face has been all over now. everywhere. We, that we've been going to restaurants. Everywhere we went, in uh, City Hall, we went to 
police they were everywhere. everywhere we saw it we were so happy too and we thanked people for having it up we were so appreciative but the only time we were denied any sort of access was at the church Oh, yeah. at the church. They saw us and then they yeah. What were the spots that um, Don Wells and Can or um, um, and Candace would frequent down here? Like places. Warriors Park. Yeah. yeah. We that went down there. Had a and then there's feeling. another one, Laurel yeah. Laurel Run. But they never really frequent that one that much. No, it was And there's trails up in there. That Is go. there a story behind Sonic? Because someone keeps telling me to check out a person that works at Sonic. Nope. No, okay. I don't know anything about that. Okay. Were, were you surprised when you found out they didn't go fishing? Yeah, I was like, well, what'd you guys do? Oh, we went swimming. Yeah. So it went from fishing to swimming. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Because I guess her daughter wanted to go swimming because it was hot out. She loved the water. <laughs> she was a water guppy. Yeah. And uh, right where they usually went fishing is right where the kids would go swimming, like... So they go swimming in this part, and then you walk around the bank, and then you go further down a little bit, and that's where Candace used to when fish. When we went swimming with them one time, I didn't go in the water, but I taught my grandkids how to swim and tread water if they ever got out where it was too deep. This little girl went out deep, and I said, Candace, she's going to go down the river. And God bless let, me, let me ask you one other thing. She's coming um, right out. I'm coming did, back out. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be right back. i got to hold my hand. Okay. A hole in your hand. Yeah, he did. His hands are so cold, he keeps dropping. We're from Florida. Oh. So we're they're from Florida. I live in Pennsylvania. Oh. Yeah. You're from Pennsylvania? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's used to the cold. We're not. Yeah. I'm freezing mm-hmm. here. My toes are we're, numb. Um, we lived in New York State for a long time. Upstate, yeah. Up in yeah. the um, snow belt, you know, like uh, Albany. 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 Schenectady. Yeah. Well, near Schenectady. Albany. Yeah, my sister had a house in Lake George. Oh, we know yes. like George very yes. well. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm I'm real Yeah, guys, don't get engaged with anybody that's trolling the chat. We're not we're not they're they're nobodies. So we're just not gonna pay attention. We're not gonna say anything to them. We're not gonna give them the time of day. Really from Jersey. I really you're Jersey. You look like that Jersey girl. <laughs> I was born on Long Island. Oh really? Really? Huntington, Huntington Station or Huntington, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember I, I just wish that they would that there was some way they could go search the property. My, uh, my question, my question to you I is: um, there, When Hunter told you that I she had went under um, just, water, did he tell you how long she may have stayed underwater, or when he knew no, how long he, no. he, he was? He was. Did, it, did he, he tell any of you guys how long she may have stayed under? No, he just like I, I don't want to talk about it, and were, he would just even change. the police. He'd say, I don't remember. I don't remember, and they'd say about what, ten seconds, fifteen seconds. And he didn't know. He he wouldn't know. I don't think he knew. Yeah, I don't think he knew either. I don't I, think he knew. I wouldn't know seconds. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm 73, but I wouldn't know seconds no. if you asked me. No. Because you could drown in a teaspoon of water. Do, do, you, of do, water. You think, do you think what may have shocked him is that maybe they got distracted and they looked over and she was... Out farther and out, had to go like get her. maybe floating or well, the under the way. water and then they realized she was gone and went and out the there and it freaked video, him out was right with her in the water yeah so it's yeah, like, but maybe he had to go after her because she wandered out remember that one day we went and she wandered out and i said candace you're gonna go down the current she's way out there it's way over her head the girl don't know how to swim i really don't want to go with my clothes on mm-hmm. yeah. but do you know where um candace and don met like how did they even meet they met oh, in our, our Utah? Utah. Wasn't I don't know it? if it was Utah or if it was Arkansas. Arkansas. Do you guys know where they met at? Like was it a uh, church, a bar, yeah. at, a, at a restaurant? I think they met She told she stole Donnie from his ex wife or something. Oh, so she was <laughs> around with him yeah. when he was yeah. living previously. So she's a sexy woman? She's no. <laughs> No. Well, maybe to somebody who hasn't had it in a while, no. you know. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> hey. Oh, come on. Well, I speak you just from that whole... Oh! Well, you're... you're what's Listen, his face? Listen, Allie was a character. Take a bath. How in the world could you be? She was nice, guys. She wanted Well, she got her text and she came down to see me. Really? And so she, she doesn't keep clean either? Take no. Oh, she's, God, dirty. she's dirty. Yeah, all the kids. The, the dirt, kids like, stained her. 
And so underarm deodorant. She didn't eat. put any on. She stunk. She has wow. body odor, and that yes. was regular. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, okay. So, so nobody really took a shower, but once a week in that home. If that, the kids were lucky if they got a shower. That's but, what a neighbor said. But the little girl would take I a took shower, shower with daddy. Than anyone here. When we were there one night, he carried her naked downstairs and, and, said, that. and said that she didn't even put a diaper on. She laid there. She was in bed all naked. But so things were running through my head. I don't know. But she was the apple of his eye. Yeah. Of the father. Mm-hmm. She was daddy's girl. Candy, Candace didn't like it. She wanted boys, not a girl. Mm. Okay. She was supposed to Candace give. Candace wanted boys, not a girl. She was yeah. supposed to give the she girl She was up. supposed to give Summer up to her mom when someone was born because she was a girl. But Donnie wouldn't let her. Donnie wouldn't let her. Uh-uh. Donnie and the grandma, the Donnie and uh, Candace's mother fought a lot. I was there for that one too. I About what? Oh, God. Said that she had to leave, get off his property, and blah blah blah. Please don't put this you're on. You're not going to get. Yeah. You're not okay. going to get yeah. Summer and well, stuff like that. Too late now. So I went out and talked to him. He was drunk. He was going to. These were Ali's finals. You know the final they words. Her truck. Her story. House. They showed me. We fooled around a couple of times. He taught the kids how to shoot guns. And I'm like, oh god, that's not good. So he he's had he's had uh, guns in his possession mm-hmm. many times. Mm-hmm. They were locked up in the house. Gotcha. She knows that. I so they like, weren't Candace's really. guns. They and were his you guns. And you were there when he shot me in the um side. No, I was there. He shot yeah. you in the side with a gun or Hunter a... did oh. with a BB gun. Oh, okay. A BB gun. We were playing around. Yeah. We were around. I've been shot with a BB gun. Yeah. That's no fun. I've been shot with a paintball mm-hmm. gun. That but hurt worse. In the side. <laughs> yeah, that hurt worse. Yeah, she knows that. I had a big, I had a big bruise, so big that it it went down in my thigh from the oh, from a paintball oh gun. Yeah. Allie yeah. likes paintball guns. Yeah. So really, I really wouldn't want to hear this on. No, no, no. On Facebook, this is just us talking. Yeah, no, 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 no. You know, but, I have to say, I'm Katie, she just very passed sorry uh, about fifteen minutes ago, so this. I heard. And I'm so sorry that Hunter is traumatized, and I, I, oh I, 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 I believe what you believe. I believe that the grandmother is absolutely evil mm-hmm. and that they are part of The mother of, is yeah. evil too. Candace is. I believe that. She uh, threatened me one night uh, that um, I was having problems with my granddaughter because they wanted to stay. And I said, no, you're going home. You're not allowed to stay yeah. up here no more. And Thank me and Candace you. almost got in a fist fight on the driveway. She goes, don't make me hit you, Sherry. Yeah. I said, listen, Candace, you're drunk. I don't yeah. give a shit. Yeah. I said, what goes? They come up and hang out and play. But they're not allowed to spend the night here no more. Mm-hmm. And you know the reason why. Yeah. And she was drunk and we got into it. And I just stood there and I was like waiting. And I would have dropped her. He said right. Facebook. Well, I feel, I guess it's it's oh, she goes up there. Yeah. Down. That's my cycle kitty. Can you help us find Candace drink like her name? <laughs> every her day. Spider Monkey. Every day at around four or five o'clock in the so afternoon. She'll yeah. walk up Never cook them dinner. Hair they were always that. hungry. So when I invite them down to my house, my to eat, I always cook. You're gonna fall. She ain't gonna fall. She goes up there all the time. And there was time that I even let um, her kids spend the night at my house. Yeah. But she was also letting my. We have about 15 more minutes. Her boys. Oh, your granddaughters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah a yesterday, concern. a woman pulls up. She was like, "I believe Candace is a pedophile," and we both of them were like, "What?" what? Yeah, yeah, she's. It was. And that, then another woman drove past us. Then she came back 15 minutes later, and she she was she's scared. She stopped and goes, "What's up?" And I go, "We're just here looking for summer." And, and she, she goes, just went she bloop, goes, bloop, with yeah, all this goes, don't information. Don't put me on the YouTube, but she didn't care we were recording. Just don't put her on YouTube, which I didn't. So, what's she, she look like? She was looking. Like she was at the top of the mountain on the other What's side. I know. She had the teased is. hair and the glasses. She was looking over the she glasses. She looked. Like she looked nice. She's pretty. Yeah, she was, she's pretty. Was, she had yeah. nails done. Yeah. She. That's the one house where um, I thought they yeah. were selling. I went and asked if they were selling the house. Uh-huh. They had a for sale sign up in their house. Yeah. Gotcha. I was like, she I checked into wanted that. to talk to us, and she said these people are evil. These people are disgusting. Um, she said, oh. TBI never came, right? Mm-hmm. She said, TBI never came and talked to us. And I live right there. She goes, I hear the F word all the time. She goes, if they're yelling, we hear it. So we're down there at the bottom. And we heard Candace giggling with Benny Keys. That gross guy, Benny Keys, 
was at the property that? all don't day. Don't know him. Don't know him. He's, he's, he's a felon. He's a he came from te- he came from Texas. Nasty. They, they're trying to get their voice wait, back. Wait, 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 wait. Was you that know. was that the is that the one that wears the purple hair? He goes by. No, he's blood money Benny Keys. Blood money Benny Keys is no, really bad. I don't know him. He's oh. disgusting. He's at the house now. There was another one that She's was. She's probably going to bed with him. There's another yeah. guy. Yeah, I suspect yeah. that. There was another guy. I suspect it. Oh, but he's and a heard the way she treats her animals. You can he ask the seventeen year old in there. He's got a what YouTube kind of channel. They had dogs. We had Angel? two. They probably don't have dogs. They I can't dogs. remember. Raven. They had dogs. Raven. Raven. They had dogs. Raven. Is that her name? That we named two of them, oh, and then um. He's a YouTuber. We had to give him back. I made her take him back. I don't know how big his channel is, but he told One me was, um, like medium and everything. Oh, well, I don't care what's happening. Hennessy. <laughs> I don't and know. Uh, the other one we named was um, River, and I nicknamed her River Monster. What? Yeah. Because he was What a bothers me is Did they abuse when she... Yes. Uh, we were up there one time. We went up there to see oh, the new batch of puppies after them. And explain to me how a child and, um, goes missing with 21 dogs on that property. Yes. How many? 21. 21. Counting. And... Uh, and, um, and the mother she of the shot yeah, Tennessee in the ass with a BB gun. Um, Who's she? Candace. Candace. Kept getting pregnant. My granddaughter is in there to witness to that one because we went up there to see so the dog. Right, Sherry, don't don't miss dread true in. How's, I'm how's, just saying. How's the child going to go? For those that are just tuning in, <clears throat> while we were live here, Allie officially passed away. Uh, Jennifer Coffin Dapper has uh, made the post. Uh, We read it here just a few minutes ago. I know that people have been very confused. Uh, Like I said on Dolly's channel, many people don't understand, you know, or excuse me, Sweet Misery's channel. People don't understand that when you're brain dead and you're not married, the the hospital kind of decides, yeah, they'll leave you on the machine for your family to come in to say their final goodbyes. But I knew that it was just a matter of time before she was going to have to move on. And um, that that, hap- <clears throat> that happened while we were live here today. So one of Allie's comments is that she was hopeful that um, she would have an opportunity to have her voice heard when this was all said and done. And obviously, she's not getting going to have that opportunity. So this is her story. This is what she knew about that day. This was taken in and around the time uh, that Summer went missing. This was one of our very first interviews that we had with people that were in and around Summer Wells, Don Wells, and uh, Candace Bly at the time or near the time of Summer's disappearance. And they had a litany of information. Uh, this has been released in the past. I don't believe the in its entirety has been released. Um, we all had different perspectives and different cameras and caught different conversations. This is the one that was caught on my camera. And again, it was uh, focused on Allie predominantly because, you know, we were trying to find out what was going on. She knew that her son wasn't right. He's never been right since that day. And I'm... There's been a lot of misinformation out there about this case because so much time has lapsed. And I want you guys to know what really happened from the horse's mouth. Mm -hmm. Missing with 21 dogs on that property. Because those dogs would greet you at the bottom of the driveway. If they don't know you, (laughs) you ain't getting up there. I don't know. That I don't know. How often do they abuse dogs? What do I do to fish off? Because well, I do know that the first five they must have kicked one you in the butt for that child. Or something. Well, did you hear her like reaction when he said, like that, what I would guess, you, whoever them. took her, what do you want and to happen? Throw them over the She said she wanted to go to jail for a really long time, right? And the then there was the another part, I don't know if you catch it, but she says, I hope they get tormented. But they also had a cat, and um, they wanted to cut the leg off. I feel like I'm getting hit over here. cat that got chewed up by one of the dogs, the one that... Oh, yes. yeah. And, and um, I said, said no, we, don't. They were literally going to do it. Yeah. And, and the kids were freaking out and everything. And I flipped out. Sold and I saw her. And we have a few. Oh, don't. Oh, we'll go get splints and splint it. You would have seen her. You can't keep a kid in the house. You can't. Not them. He, he's trying to, they're trying to blame it on everybody else but themselves. Right. I'm sorry. 
What's is your take kid? on them going on all these podcasts, like proclaiming their innocence? I mean, is that what's yeah. that about? What do you think, Don? Why do you think Don does that? Because you know what he said to us last night. We, she said, "How can we help you?" And he goes, "Just be my friend." Yeah, that's what they say. Be my friend. Don't tell then anybody. He, then he agreed to meet with me if I watch this uh, video on the Seven Day Adventist, this um, uh, prophecy. Uh, oh yes. Yeah. Two point oh, but it was about a, a a guy over in some uh, Madagascar, India, or that, something like that. That that murdered yeah. ten people and seek uh, salvation in the church. What is up with that thing about India? There was a new, something new on there. And the reason why people are in here is because they've been lying to their audience for so many, so long about these people. And I'm tired of the lies. And so we're gonna set the record straight Bullhorn Betty style. We have the real information from the real people in and around, not some word salad from these other channels spilled out by Don and Candace themselves. Because let's face it, they were the last people that saw Summer Wells, now weren't they? It was in the video where he said that um, Bear Bear had a body from hell or something like that. It's in the beginning, something about, because people were asking questions, Something about it was India and they went back to India when or Don went to India fire. or something. I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. Yeah. He ended the conversation with me saying we need to pray for the uh, people that are being slaughtered in North Korea. Yeah. We, yeah, that we, would be done. We all That's, heard it. We that, all that, 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 that was yeah. what he, he was ended the conversation. Not, not like we need to pray for mm -hmm. Summer. We I need to pray for her safe, are. her safe return yeah. home. When yeah. I asked him about so. summer, he um, indicated he goes, "There's the evil in this world. Like basically, day, she's right? dead." And you he know, the world. Like, yeah. oh, but before she was, they would have people coming drug traffic, doing sex. That's what they said. So he said that. I never knew that he said that he thought that it was possible that she was sex trafficked. I never heard that. He said it. You heard him say it. Yeah, he said it right on YouTube and everything. I'll ask Tiffany about that. See if yeah. we can find that you got, clip. And obviously, you guys don't believe that. No, no not at all. A lot of people. And not even that. that she was taken by the cartel. Come on yeah. now. Or I know. What mafia. did you think about Candace's uh, prank call? Oh, Don gonna... was arrested. <coughs> they got him. He's in Boston. Wow. Yeah, what did you think of that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not forget. OMG. How did we freaking forget that? How did we forget that? Their child is missing, right? Child's missing. And they want to play games. Parents that want to play games. Calling people and saying, the FBI just picked up Don. Just picked up Don. He's gone. Help me. Let's not forget the games, the lies, the manipulation during this time. Most parents that are missing their five-year-old child, because let's face it, she was five years old at the time she disappeared, right? Five years old. And they want to play games. Most parents are out there putting flyers on poles and doing searches. Well, unfortunately, whether it was made for them or they made it today, Jennifer Coffendaffer just released that she has officially passed away. Um, so I would have to say that I unfortunately trust Jennifer Coffendaffer's assessment over Andrew's because, you know, the situation that unfolded yesterday. But either way, um, as hard as this is, that's the information, and I have to believe that she's gone. Um, <clears throat> as, sad as, it, as sad as it is, Allie never had an opportunity to tell her story about what happened that day. Um, and so we're going to give her her voice. I want to make sure that people know what really happened. Because what's going around now and how wonderful Don and Candace are and stuff like that, you don't understand. This woman, Candace Bly, took a shotgun 
and pointed it at a social worker, threatening to blow her effing head off. I want you to understand who these people are. And while Allie was put through the ringer to try to get her story out there, we're going to get it out there. Because when we got it out there the first time, people wanted to beat this lady up. I want to hear what you guys have to say now. I thought it was so funny. I don't like, know about I that. I didn't one. believe it. I couldn't. I was like, they're officially making this a joke. It's yeah. a joke. Candace did that? Yeah. She yeah, did to that. Her, yeah. To oh. his sister in law. Yeah, to her Hold sister. Hold sister and said they took Dad away. The FBI came and took him away. And, and they're Boston. beating him and torturing him. Yeah. And, and I don't know when and it was a big lie. Home. What? It was a big lie. And Andra, like, to really get into this, like, it's long, it's heavy, it's draining, and it's confusing. Wow. Right? It's confusing. It yeah. Is. And they're self medicated. They're, it seems yeah. like they're I always don't know loaded. What they they're going to do to them. They're going to hurt them. They're out there hurting them. Oh. When, well, this okay, is, what, this is what pissed me off, okay? Really pissed me off. Um, all the people, she had these, this thing on Facebook where you could give her money in her name. And she was seen in Just Jump. There, but she was also seen. After Summer went missing, she was also seen at Walmart buying a phone. Yeah. A but, cell phone. Wait, but also, she, she out wait a burner? minute, wait, just, can I finish? Yes. Before you butt in. <laughs> Grandma she was, was a just jump. And she was, the woman took a picture of her. She was showing all this money she had. She only had one kid with her. Yep. One of the boys. Just jump. Okay. Now, she got banned from Walmart. She's supposed to be banned from all Walmarts. But she went in there to get a phone one day, and she threatened them about blowing them up. Or uh, yes, we did hear about that. She got arrested. I was there with her when she got arrested. You were there when she got arrested. We when when she got a ticket. She got it. Okay, she, she got was arrested. Suicided. But they okay. gave her a ticket. And she's banned from Walmart, Candace. Yes. Which Walmart was that? For Henry Drive, that was. That's the so one that I passed. I said Why that. Listen, what happened there. in there? What happened? We were. She came and got me. She said she had to go to the store to get a phone. I said, all right, we'll go to whatever Walmart you want to go to. She wanted to go to that one where Ellie worked. She wanted to go to Fort Henry Drive, right? The kids were hungry, so she got them something to eat. So we go to um, Fort Henry Drive. We go in Walmart. The kids are at the cold. And then she gets the phone, and then they wanted a toy. She goes, all right, shut the hell up. I'll go get your toy. And we're down toy aisle. She was arguing with a little one about one. The boys are running around trying to find her. All of a sudden, all you've seen is like five police coming down the aisle and say, what's going on, ladies? I go, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I don't even know why you're here. And then they said something about um, she threatened to blow up uh, Walmart. And she did say that over there. Yeah. Did you hear her say it? Yeah, I was what, what, standing next to her. What was her issue? Yeah, yeah. When she got the phone, she wanted them to help her set it up. And they said that she couldn't because it was a new policy or something. So she got mad and says, somebody should come and blow this place up. Like I said, when mine weren't... And uh, that's why they called the cops. And that's why it's like five, six officers what, came. What was this last... All right, let me see what's going on here. Uh, da, 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 da. I watched several videos yesterday where I was reported she had passed away because Dolly reported it, I believe. Well, um, it was corrected that she was still on life support. I know that because I received the same conversation. Um, <clears throat> there was a lot of confusion out about uh, Allie's condition, and it was brought on by nobody other than Andrew Hiltz. Uh, which was going out trying to collect money to go get his, go to his son because Allie had just passed away. That's kind of how the whole rumor started to begin with. That's how I learned of it anyways. And um, since then, you know, it sounds like a, several channels have raised money for him. But during that process, it was realized that Allie had not yet passed away. And people were attacking Andrew as it being a, you know, a grift of some sort or something like that when untrue. And then now people are attacking him, saying that, um, you know, he doesn't need to be with his son or whatever it may be. I, I'm, I'm unsure. But 
um, either way, it just, it, it, it's, it, it didn't matter. The bottom line is she was, she was brain dead and, and they probably had already been notified that they needed to take her off life support and whether they want to wait for it or not, the hospital's not going to keep her on life support when it costs almost, a, I think something like a hundred thousand dollars a day, uh, to keep this person, um, on life support. And, you know, it's just, they're not, I don't see them doing it. They'll give you 24, 48 hours typically to get the family in to say their final good, what, goodbyes. But after that, it's it's done. Um, the only reason why I know this is because I dealt with it uh, several times with both my cousins. Um, and it, it, you know, it's, it's a horrible situation, but um, I also a friend of mine, her name was Karen. She had lost her daughter by um her daughter was clean and had been clean for a while and had one relapse one relapse too many and lost her life and her mother was never the same again and uh, we don't know what happened we don't know if she intentionally did it or if it was um you know whatever it was she went without oxygen too and i was there and i remember uh because i'd go up there and i'd just sit there just so she wouldn't be by herself because nobody was in the hospital room with her and I would just sit there and read a book. And I remember um, them doing the test on her to see how her brain activity was. And even though they couldn't tell me, you know, it's not my first rodeo. And I kind of knew. And they they told me that <clears throat> I may want to call before I come back in tomorrow. That was my indication that they were, uh, she was brain dead and that, you know, it was just a matter. So I kind of foresaw this when I, when I heard that diagnosis that she was brain dead. And um, so I understand there is some confusion here, but I, I think it was wholly unfair, you know, with, with what we know to accuse Andrew, if that's what people are doing, I don't know. I'm not paying attention. I don't want to accuse people of doing something that they're not doing. And likewise, but I do believe that, you know, he would want to be with his son and um, I definitely wouldn't recommend giving him cash. I've watched some of his videos because I, I thought the same thing. Is this a, a cash grab? Is he lying to people? You know, so I did kind of look into and it does look like he's been displaying what I would perceive as substance abuse traits in, in his lives. So and, and a very specific type of substance and it's not marijuana. Um, so that's just my personal assessment. So I, I, I would recommend if, if you're going to help, maybe help by buying the plane ticket, buying like maybe food cards, buying something. Um, but that's up to each and every person. It's not for me to decide what you do with your money or how you support a grieving family. That's up for each and every one of you to decide and decide for yourselves and yourselves alone. So, um, but I can tell you that, um, Hunter has got two twins on the way and Hunter just lost his mother and uh, Hunter's children will never get to meet their grandmother. So, you know, maybe instead of focusing on things that are a little chaotic or we don't know about, maybe we should focus on something that we do like Hunter and maybe just focusing on getting Hunter the money that he needs. If he needs his father there, he can definitely, uh, you know, use some of that funds to purchase his dad's ticket. We don't know what type of relationship he has with his father. We really don't. We've seen an interview with him and his father. Is there some more stuff there? We really don't know. You know, we don't know what that relationship is. And I don't think it should be up for us to force a reunion. I think we should support Hunter. Um, and Hunter, if, if Hunter wants his dad with that support, he can help bring his dad in. Does that make sense to, to our position? Well, at least my position here, it's a fair, I, I think it's a fair position. You know, Hunter will be in control of everything. It's his mother. It's, it's his situation. And, you know, he's the one that has children coming and, and a lot of stuff. So if we support Hunter and Hunter needs his dad, then Hunter can make sure his dad gets here. That's just my 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 honest opinion, how how that needs to be, you know, just a thought. But again, you guys do what you want. You guys are <laughs> obviously adults and you've managed to take care of yourself to this point. So whatever works for you is is what works for you. Why did this happen? Here.
Yeah. Last year. Last year. Last year. Goes, tax time. I just seen True running through my backyard. Uh, I said, go He's grab her now. Yeah. yeah. That's and how we tried, went out. She goes, is she on welfare? What do you want me to do? No, said, she want to do welfare because that She wouldn't work. do any type of Did government any, assistance. Nothing. Those kids nothing. have no insurance, no nothing. Nothing. Because listen, <gasps> listen. I'll Did tell you Johnny this, make I was money? Just this one. No. We're up, really. we're up at her house. She was. That's a good assessment, she Brittany. She also has two daughters, but we don't have the two daughters. All the kids were outside. PayPal's or uh, Venmo's. We only have hunters. I think that's kind of really. But we do not want to forget that she has other children that lost their mother. Because they're going to get hurt. I mean, I don't even buy my kid a beat up dirt bike. Like, like, no. And, uh, next thing you know, little Waylon came inside. He's screaming bloody murder. He had cut the bottom of his foot. Thank you for keeping us up to date really on that, nasty. Brittany. I, mean, it needs I wasn't to aware. Yeah. And I said, Candace couldn't even hold her own son, wash his foot off for nothing. I picked him up, put him in the sink. Washed his foot off so I could see where the cut was, how bad it was. I said, he needs to go to the hospital. He needs stitches. I looked at her mother. I said, let's go. We got to go take him to the emergency room. No. Well, she was giving me all of his information. But then when it came time for insurance, she goes, you can't bring him because we don't have no insurance. Same thing when he burnt his hand down on the um, oven. Oven down in the, the basement. The... It was bad. It was like a third, so fourth degree burn. It was bad. I don't get this. Maybe it, it's different states have different rules when it comes to the medical facilities. I, I don't know. But I know here in Florida, it doesn't matter whether you have insurance or not. If you're hurt or you need uh, immediate medical attention, yeah, you'll still get the bill. Um, but they have a whole indigency process here that you can fill out. Um, to, and there's nonprofits out there that help pay for um, your medical bills, if you are, um, so if you are ever faced with uh, a medical challenges, uh, call around to the hospitals if you need to, but don't ever not go and get medical attention if you or your family needs it. Um, if, if you need some uh, help ever, you know, especially when it comes to kids and you don't know where to go, please reach out to me at bullhornbetty at gmail.com. Let me know the city, county, and state you are in, and I will find you some resources. I never want a child ever going without uh, the necessary medical care, especially if they're hurt. You know, and I don't, I, you know, I, I don't want to judge, and I'm not going to because if you're reaching out for help, you're doing the right thing, and I will bend over backwards to help you. So uh, don't ever go without uh, medical care for your children. Um, okay. She the, said, I'm going to take them to so, the emergency room. No, they left for Wisconsin. Yeah. So they just went to Wisconsin without going to the emergency room. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So these kids were just abused. So they were. Yeah. yeah. I bet you if they knew all that stuff, they never get them kids back. They, they are not getting them kids back they because did. they do know all of this stuff. And did you guys tell And so all does this the world. The world TBI needs to know this. Everything. So they, they're well aware of oh, all yeah. of this information. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And CPS, when they came, when a call came in saying that I was giving my grandkids um weed, and then when they came and talked to my kids, my kids said, "No, it wasn't my nana, it was uh Candace." Candace. Wow. Next, York, York, York. Yes, my grandkids weed, and um the next day when they found out CPS was at my house, that's when they came down and um made my d granddaughter flip out. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gail, and it's I live. said. What'd you tell him? What'd you tell him? What'd you tell him? Yeah. And blah, 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 blah. Threatened her. Yeah. What do you, you, you were obviously Candace's friend at one point. <sighs> what kind of drugs was she on or that you know of her being on? <clears throat> I know that she smoked weed and she was drinking, but then my suspicions came that she was doing stuff heavier, like besides popping pills and, um, Doing like, meth or what, what, do you, what do you mean heavier? She admitted to like, me she, before that she was an ex meth head. Yeah, that's it. So she, so that the the probability of her <laughs> being uh, on meth is probably high. All right, another question: Did Don Wells ever cheat on Candace? Yes. With who? Punch down. I don't know. With who, me. I know when he was in Utah. Candace was getting mad at him because he was That's what we're in front of his dad's house. Brittany just let us know. Yeah, but Someone he even had some loco too, but I don't know who they were. Yes, yeah. do you see this is what I get? 
Well, it's nice to have okay. you, Gail. Okay. Yeah, because I just looked at the time. We we'll were, keep we're, you we're, informed. We'll come we're, back we're definitely uh, fallen. Are we, are we welcome our, to uh, come back and do talk our, our, our time, our time. Okay, there, guys. That was it. That was it. I know it's long, but that was the entire interview. I hope you garnered some information maybe that you forgot about. I know there was a lot of stuff I forgot about. A lot of stuff. There's a reason why these boys are not being returned to Don and Candace. And I don't want these channels manipulating and providing misinformation about what truly happened that day. When we went out there, we didn't even know Don was home at the time, Summer. We put all of this, we put every last bit of this onto um, Candace. While I was there, I learned, and I, I talked to Don just recently and asked him about it, and he would not give me a straight answer. His co-workers told me he was at work with his boys. He left work between 1.30 and 2.30, and they can't recall when he came back that day. Hunter has maintained from day one that Don Wells was at work with his sons. How did the boys get back when, when um, Candace was there? When she pulled up, the boys came out to help her with the groceries. How did the boys get back to help her with the groceries if Don wasn't there? Don comes screeching up to the house and says that he drove from Washington County to that house or Jonesboro, or wherever the heck he was, to that house. And I know that a lot of people out there in this YouTube world have not been on these back roads or have not drove the, the, the route he drove. And I can tell you, there is no way he can go at the speed he was going without going off the side of the road. And the side of the road is a freaking cliff. Okay? He managed to get home a lot sooner than he was supposed to if he was at work. Why? Because he was not at work. So why would Don Wells lie for three years about where he was the day his daughter disappeared and why? Did he distance himself so far at the property that he tried to say he was at work and he never took his boys because he had to explain how those boys got home because the boys were definitely home. <clears throat> it would also make sense why he had the boys with him that day. I guarantee his oldest son knew how to run drywall, right? Knows, probably knows how to tape. At 12 years old, I knew how to change out electrical switches and how to run wire from one end of the house to the other because I drove. I went to work with my father. So I guarantee at 11 years and 12 years old, I'm changing out receptacles and putting plates on and switches in houses. Heck, I'm even putting fans together at the age of 12. Ceiling fans. He just fired Dudley the day before. Kind of painting a picture, huh? Donwell fires his employee, decides to take his kids to work. Time for lunch. Got to take the kids on home. Mom comes in the door. It's a kumbaya day. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, cleaning the house, washing clothes, planting flowers, being the humdrum family that they are. And then boom, on this top of this huge mountain that sits a house, we have Sasquatch that decides to scale the mountain and snatch a kid that's in a basement. 
Okay. Okay. Well, call me crazy. Many already do, right? Um, I just not buying it. Been out there for a long time. This is only one interview that we had, guys. Just one. And what a wealth of knowledge that provided each and every one of us. And this is just one to paint the picture of what truly happened in who Don Wells and Candace Bly who truly are. I have no reason to be nasty to Don Wells. He knows where I'm coming from at any given time because he knows I know. And if nobody believes that, well, it's time to get schooled because not only does he know, we should have been forced. Let's face it, right? If he didn't know before, he definitely knows now. I hope you like it. Don's right there on that house on a white truck. And I guess the red Subaru. I knew it. I knew it. The last house. Which house? The first house. That white truck right there? Yeah. No, no. You want to park down here first? See the white Subaru? See the red Subaru right there and the white S10 truck? You're looking right out through the window. There's this truck right there. The, the Isn't it? You're door. talking about the F-150? See the garage door? No, that's Oh, I see it. <laughs> Come on, let's get. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dudley. Go. All right, thank you. Come back in. He's there? Yep. This is the reason why people on YouTube don't Don, like where's your daughter? Betty, right here. Where's your daughter? Because we don't have why a problem are you from us? going straight to their face and asking them questions. Summer, wh why. where's Summer, Don? We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Where's Summer, Let's Don? Go. Where's Summer? Let's go. You wanted to meet us at a secret location? Here we are. Let's go. Here we are. You wanted to meet us, Don? You what? You you got it on my phone that you want to meet us. You want to be Candace, come out and face us. Candace, come out and face us. Don Wells is inside that house. This is after he had us running around for hours, hours to meet up with him, just to sit down and talk to him. That's what Thank people you. didn't understand. This man drug us all, all the batteries. way from Hawkins County to Sullivan County, back to Hawkins County, just to be toying with us. Not a good, again, why are you playing games when your daughter is missing? Those are questions that people need to be asking them because this was a game that day for him. This was a cat and mouse game that he lost. This is when all, because at this point, think about it. We're in the road. Yeah, we absolutely do We're in have public a right. Street. We absolutely do have a right. Cops came out there and told them we had the right. So who... Uh, are you seriously saying that law enforcement's wrong, we're wrong, the Constitution is wrong, all the laws of the land are wrong because you say so, Phoenix? We're in the public street. We're in the public street. This is everything. You guys want it front and center? You want it unedited? Here you go. Get out of my fucking face. Goddamn, you get out of mine. This is how it was. Come on, Candace. Come out here and talk to us about your daughter. What would you do with her? What did you do with your daughter? This is public property. I know you have that first amendment right, but you can't be considered. Then fire him from the job. Fire him from the job. You don't need a, a baby. He he buried his baby somewhere, and we want to know where she's at. Where's your baby? Come on, Don. You can record us. 
Sean. We're on public property. He's right there in the window. Sean. We're on public property right now. Hold on. Come on. Did you call him? Come on, you call him. We're, we're going to follow you. We're going to wait here all day. We know where you're at now. <laughs> I'm more of a level-headed. <laughs> I just got that in the background. I don't think I've ever heard that before. <laughs> what were you trying to say there? We're on public property. Where'd you do with your daughter? Where'd you bury her? Where'd you bury her, Don? Well, I can't even stand oh, listening to myself. That was one hot day. But again, and I mean hot. What I mean by hot is one hot day. He he drug us all over two different counties all day. That's the point nobody wants to talk about. You don't mind toying with people until it bites you in your butt. And that's what happened that day. But see, only people only want to give you half truths about what truly happened. And when you, you hear the half truths about what truly happened, you kind of think that we were just the bad guys and just went up there to try to get him fired from his job. And that couldn't be further from the truth. He wanted to tell us his story. He wanted to, to let us know he had nothing to do with his daughter's disappearance. He wanted to meet with us. He had, I have text messages after text message, meet him here, meet him there. He wants to get his story out, right? Right? And then he stands us up and stands us up, and stands us up, and stands us up, and then reaches out to us to tell us to meet him here. Why are you playing games when your child is missing with people that are out here to try to help? Seems a little odd behavior, don't you agree? So let's see what law enforcement has to say, you know, to, to, to appease Phoenix's mind. You know, we want to make sure her emotional state is okay, right? We want to make sure she's not offended, right? Because it's all around Phoenix and her opinions of what she thinks the law is and why we don't listen to her when it comes to legal, you know, information and the law, right? Because this was my business. I am a professional protester, right? I am a professional protester in the political world and have been for many years. So who would know the, the laws related to political protesting or any type of protesting than a professional protester? Right? Just saying. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts that this is not my first rodeo. Can we agree on that? Not going to look good. I'm going to start peacefully protesting. All right, this is it. I'm going to start peacefully um, protesting. You heard that, right? Try to ignore them and go on about your day. This is a law enforcement officer. Phoenix, do you see that? Do you see that man right there in the blue? It's this guy right here, right here. You see him right here? That is what you call a law enforcement officer, okay? So whenever you have an issue with um, not, you know, knowing whether you're following the law or not, typically what we do is we call these people called law enforcement officers. And those law enforcement officers come out because they're paid for by the people for the people, right? To make sure that we, the people are conducting ourselves in a lawful manner. So see, this law enforcement officer actually comes out to the scene and he speaks to us. He actually holds a conversation to us and says, hey, you know what, what's going on here? Well, you know, this guy is, you know, we sell, tell him our spiel and we say, you know, it's our right to be here. I mean, this is a public road, right? Or, or we're on a public road. I just want to make sure we understand that we are on a public road. And they say, oh, yes, yes, ma'am, you're on a public road. Oh, okay. So then there's nothing anybody can, oh, no, no, we can't really do anything about it. Um, so there you have it. You, you see this, this person, I just want to make sure Phoenix is, Phoenix, you might want to get your glasses. You know, I, I, I'm old as dirt now. So like my vision is going, I, ever since I turned 40 something years old, I, my eyesight's just been going and going and going and going. So I'll give you just a, a moment or two there, Phoenix, to, to go get your, your spectacles on, right? Your spectacles on. So you can see what this thing is. This thing here is actually a male law enforcement officer. You see that little belt right around his, his hips here? Um, this is 
right there is a police belt. Okay, so so we do have law enforcement out here to 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 find out whether we have a right to do this or not. Let's see what the officer, the law enforcement officer, has to say about the work we do, so that there's no misunderstandings. We can talk. Which we did. And making people got turn their heads because of the law of disorderly conduct. If you inhibit their then lawful activities, but that's an ordinance, right? That's not really a law. It's local. That's how you redeem disorderly conduct. You can technically go to jail for that and be charged with it. All right. So with this man, I would just let this man do his work. Listen, we all want to, we all want to find her. We all care about her, all right. But that doesn't mean we can bet you're yelling in a public street, carrying on. You're allowed to be on the public street, but we can't bet you're yelling, screaming. I mean, these people back here out here looking at y'all. Oh. You got a murderer. We can talk though, right? We can talk. <laughs> Allegedly. I mean, don't be out here screaming, yelling, well, calling the scene, all right? To meet them places. So. Wouldn't just us talking just like this? Wouldn't John, that be convenient? Well, cons- well, told us to come see you. And we we appreciate you guys. We, we appreciate you guys. We back the blue, but we also okay. like to ex- exercise our First Amendment right to the Constitution, we want to help you. which which allows us which allows us the First okay. Amendment. All right. Okay. I'll put it down. Please talk to us. And tell us. And we will leave. We'll never bother you again. Wouldn't talk to us. Told him would leave and never come back. He's never have to see our face. Well, then start with them and start with his wife. There's no. There's there's no. Summer's life mattered. It sure did. We love her. So we love her. have the right to do that? You don't even know her birthday, Don. We never looked for her. We were to Yeah. We you never once went out. You never right. looked yeah. for her. You never got out. A- he didn't get fired. He got kicked off the job. There was kids around. Every day. You may not believe this man had anything to do. We've been right here watching everything. You're- we, you may not believe that this man had anything to do. He's a violent person. Violent person, done terrible things his entire life. He's had every single child taken from him. He had no right to drag us. He should have just said, hey, no, I'm not going to interview with you. Go on about your day. Do what you need to do. Right? He could have done that. Right? He could have done that. Just been honest. Right? But he chose not to. He chose to play games. So whether your opinion is I don't have a right to do that, I absolutely do have a right to do that. I exercised my constitutional right as it's provided to me. And he was kicked off that job, which kids, again, kids live in that community. I know you may not care about that, but I guarantee you the parents of those children probably do. I understand you don't care about anybody else except yourself. But there are people like me that actually give a damn about other people and the harm that could come their way because of poor decisions like this from builders to put a man that's a a person of interest in the disappearance of a five-year-old child near children to work, especially one with his horrible reputation of messing with little kids, allegedly, since he was a young boy. And I don't know too many zebras that change their their stripes just saying but hey you may have you may have the supersonic power and wherewithal to find that one just say it i know i'm mean get over it you're doing no don it was it they i um, think all right, we'll take it down. All right, all right, boom. I got it. Here, here. Sounds like you're a little Why do you watch me? Sounds like you got the issue, not me. I definitely don't watch you. <laughs> so we're doing God's work right now. The only people that are the primary suspects of Summer Well is Donald Wells and Candace Wells, which are sitting inside. They've been hiding from us. We have 
We have talked to their neighbors. We have talked to their friends. Everybody knows they did something with that child. Every single person that has come in contact with them knows they did something. It's not a matter of whether she is has been kidnapped. She hasn't. What we it matters. Know where she was we want to know where they put her. We want to know where they put where they put her so we can give her a proper burial like she deserves. He couldn't even look me in the because eye. Because he knows we know. He, he knows we know. He knows we know. For all those that are just tuning in, <clears throat> we uh, started the uh, morning off with honoring. We knew that Allie had not <clears throat> moved on. Okay. Um, this is hard for me because <clears throat> I like Ellie and uh, her and I communicated. We haven't communicated in a, a significant amount of time, but when, when all this was going on and we were in and in the area, we had a lot of communication between us that was not public. Oh, thank you. Check your mod chat. Okay. I didn't see that. Where's my mod chat? Let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I, did, I don't know why. Hold on. Let me get there. Let me get there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I wasn't prepared. Okay. Justin. They're saying that she's alive. Hunter's mom, Hunter's. Allie is the mom of Hunter. Hunter was Summer Wells the day she disappeared, digging for why the face, the farce about Allie dying. If anyone has any updates, please see below. Is it possible if we source the um, news about Allie and Allie passing away? I mean, I've got her number, but if she's in the hospital, she's not answering her phone. Um, we have to go to the, the, the person that generated the news. Who generated the news? The person that generated the news is Andrew. That's the first person I heard uh, speak about Hunter's mom passing away. And my question would be, why is he, why did he start this, this rumor? If, is she even on life support? Does anybody even know if she's on life support? I'm, I, let me, let me just look her up real quick. Let's find out. I don't like this, this not knowing and this bouncing back and forth between everything. Let me look this up. Let's see what Oh, this is definitely not it. Why is this one not coming in? Hold on a second. Open with contacts. Add. Let's add. Okay. Yeah, I've got her. <coughs> I've got her email address. So what we'll do, I don't know one way or another. Let me just, I'm going to mute this for a second. I'm just going to call and see if, if she answers, because I wonder why would Andrew say what sick people are making up? Uh, it, it, I know where I heard it from originally. And my question is why in the world would he be doing that? Um, we heard she fell ill. We heard she fell out. We, we knew she was on ICU. We heard that for several days. And many people told us that she was not gone yesterday. And then Jennifer Coffin Daffer said she passed away today and is now walking that back. Updated post from Jennifer Coffin Daffer was reported that Hunter's mom, Allie, passed. But did she? The Facebook post, <clears throat> Facebook post includes the one below as indicated. <clears throat> and um, is this it? As indicated, let me see. Let me back this one out. Let me go. Let me go to her channel, because again, you know, everybody is is getting this information. So 
obviously something had to have happened to um, Allie. Let's see here. Let's make it a Jennifer's post and we'll read it verbatim. Because this is emotional for me. You guys know I knew her. Uh, we chatted, and again, I have uh, several of my um, videos or my um, recordings on here. And she keeps referring like the one below, but there's nothing below. Oh, I think she's talking about this right here. Rest in peace, Allie is floating around. I don't know who created that, um, but her post, this is Jennifer's post right here. Let me back that up. And it says, um, post update, it was reported that Hunter's mom, Allie, passed away. And her question is, but did she? Facebook posts, including the one below, indicated, but apparently the news is false and she is alive. Allie's mother, Allie is the mom of Hunter. Hunter was with Summer the day she disappeared, digging for why the farce about Allie dying. If anyone has updates, please post below. And so <clears throat> the post below is several people have died around the Summer Wells case. Jose, the young girl kidnapped a child, uh, was a friend of Candace prior to Summer coming up missing. And now Allie, um, that's one of the comments. One is from Miss Harmony. I remember Miss Harmony. She was here um, early on when we first started this channel and said, from what I have heard, we were told that she has no brain function and is now on a ventilator waiting for her family to make a decision regarding regardless it's a sad situation so she is gone guys so this whole this whole thing about her she, she's coming off that life support i don't know what you think is going to happen when she's off that life support she is not here she is being artificially kept alive from what everybody is saying it is just a matter of time if she has not already i personally know um Hospitals are not going to keep you indefinitely. If you have a will, if you have a healthcare surrogate, if you have some kind of directive, that's something different. I don't know if Allie would have those types of things. Um, I did those types of things um, in you know when I was 18, not because I was a smart girl, it's because it was part of my class project. You know, I did go to school, I went to college. Uh, to be a paralegal. And, and one of the, the things was to draft a will and testament, right? And a healthcare surrogate and, and all these things. So naturally, every person in the class ended up preparing their own. So that's the reason why I don't know, had I been in that class, if I would have done that or not. But it, it, if if she she's brain dead, um, brain anoxia, I don't know what that means. They were they were laughing on AH channel yesterday after all the donors. They said, oh, he got his money, meaning he got H money that was donated. <clears throat> yeah, there's just something odd because I reached out to, to Andrew. See, I knew Andrew and I've always been respectful of Andrew, even back um, in that conversation, that three minute conversation you heard me have with Allie about him. I even you know tried to guide him at one point a couple years ago when he was like wanting to like really him and, and Benny were just about to start warring. It wasn't really good. And I'm like, just don't let him get under your skin. Just stay focused on what you need to stay. You know, just the pep talk. Anybody that's a creator on here that I've worked with, it's this, I, I say the same thing to just about every single person that, that comes across problems and drama on this platform or any other social media platform, I give them the same advice. You know, you gotta, you gotta ignore it. You gotta stay focused and you gotta stick, you know, stick with the, the program. And so that's kind of what I, I told him, but see, he seemed normal back then. Um, then happy birthday, Andrew, if it's your birthday. Um, but he, you know, I went back yesterday and reviewed some of his videos and you can see, like, I hadn't seen him in a while. So naturally from where I saw him, it was a significant change in my, in my, um, opinion about his behavior. His behavior was one that I did not recognize, um, from my dealings with him in the past, just just a little food for thought, not nothing to knock him or anything like that, because if he is struggling with some type of, of situation, 
you know, I hope he gets help for whatever type of situation that's got him struggling, that has him um, doing this. But I have to think that they are preparing. You don't wait until, uh, you know, the last moment to try to make plans on how and what's going to happen and who needs to go where, right, guys? I mean, we have to think about that. Uh, a lot of people are beating up, um, you know, Andrew for wanting to try to get to his son. I'm not going to sit there and knock the man. All I'm going to say is I'm personally, I would personally feel more comfortable donating to Hunter and Hunter taking care of it. It sounds like we've already got at least two creators that are really trying to work on getting um, Andrew to Tennessee. We've got Dolly Vision. It sounds like um, Daisy, Daisy on the farm, whatever her name is. It sounds like she's working on trying to, to get something together to get both Hunt, uh, both um Andrew and his brother here. There's been a lot of stuff related to his brother. I guess Andrew probably doesn't have a license, can't drive, needs the brother here to rent a car. I don't know what the situation is. It's a hot mess. I, I will be honest with you. It's a hot mess. I just feel comfortable if they're going to, if you're going to get something, get it. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm a, an ex or a recovering addict and um, I just see signs and, and, and I'm, I, I know what I see when I see it. And I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm not going to lie and I'm not going to deceive. I'm going to be honest as I always am. And I just feel more comfortable telling my audience that I feel more comfortable with you donating to Hunter. And I'm sure Hunter, if he has the cash and his dad needs something while he's there or, you know, he'll have the enough reserves that he can help his father out. I, I prefer Hunter. If you're going to give cash donations, it go to Hunter. Just, I feel like Hunter will take care of you know, his sisters, I feel like Hunter is responsible enough to kind of take care. He's kind of the man, you know, and I have to trust his judgment when it comes to his mom and his family. And um, that's the judgment I'm going to trust. Unfortunately, that's just where the, I am with this and my, my advocation. <clears throat> so I'm not going to bother calling Allie's phone. Um, it sounds like she, this is not a hoax. There's something seriously wrong here. It sounds like she's already, we're just waiting for the countdown if she's not already gone. Um, but it's still a sad day. And we need to we need to embrace this family. We need to, instead of fighting over, you know, is she gone or not, maybe we need to be talking about, you know, rallying to support the family. I really would like to know if Allie didn't have a living will to make the decision of her life, if legal action is needed before they take her off a ventilator. It's my understanding because that was honestly believed that was my um, issue with my friend Karen. I was trying very hard because to be honest with you, when I, I, I had a deal with my two cousins, um, which is really hard for me to talk about, but I will talk about it. Um, both of them, you know, when they were losing their life, their skin tone was like just gray. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. They were still alive. They were on a ventilator. But when it came to my friend Karen, you know, when she was there and, and that was the hardest one, she was she was beautiful. She was she had healthy looking skin. She had color in it. She didn't look like my cousins, like the experience I had previously had. I had so much hope for her. And so whenever um, I realized what was going on, you know, I did myself because I believed she was in there. I believed that they were wrong. I, I, I you know, but th there's, there's nothing. There's nothing you can do. If they don't have those things and they are not married, there's literally nothing you can do that, the, the and, it, and I, I hate the idea that a um, medical facility is making decisions for me because I'm not married. You know, it, it, it's a bothersome. So everybody, maybe this is a good um, conversation to start having with your family about your wishes. Nobody likes to have these conversations. Maybe it's time for each and every one of us, even if you're young. I mean, you're young, you young folks out there, you guys need to be um, proactive as well. You never know what's going to happen around the corner. And if you, if you want, you, it might be a good lesson for everybody. Maybe it's time to start drafting your own, your own uh, healthcare surrogate. You're, you know, putting somebody in charge like your mom or your dad or your significant other in charge of, you know, decisions if you're incapacitated. Um, 
a will, uh, a last will and testament. You know, maybe this is a good offer, good time for you guys. If you already have one, how long has it been since you looked at it? Like, I can honestly tell you, I haven't looked at mine since I was 18 years old, right? It, it might be a good time to update those things. Um, we just, this is just a, a sad situation, but Allie has, you know, she's not going to get, that was one of the things that we had discussed is when all this stuff was said and done, that Allie would get an opportunity to tell the world what she knew. And um, again, it doesn't look like we're going, unfortunately, and as hard as hard as it is for me to say that, it doesn't look like she's going to get that that time. And I wanted to make sure with all this new information about how wonderful Don and Candace are and how great their parenting is and how they're being so unjust, uh, unjustly treated and, and how it's everybody else, it's not them. It's everybody else has got it wrong. It's everybody else. It's everybody else. It's everybody else. I'm going to be damned. I'm going to be damned. You know, I'm going to be damned. Because Allie was persecuted for trying to speak the truth. Persecuted. Treated like pure crap. Talked to like pure crap. Teased. Mocked. Humiliated. For trying to bring the truth to the people. So you guys had all the information you need. And now she's fighting for her life. And it sounds like she lost that battle. And it's just a matter of time before it's official if it's not already so i definitely wanted to give her her voice back i definitely wanted you guys to hear i know this it's been a long time since you saw that video and i i don't believe you saw that video in its entirety because i personally never showed my uh video and if i have showed it it's only been a very small portion of it it hasn't been the it hasn't been its entirety I just want everybody to remember Allie. She was a good, she wasn't a perfect lady. She may not have been a perfect mom. She may not have been a perfect friend. She may not have been a perfect anything. But I can tell you she was always nice to me. She always talked to me with respect. She always was, she always seemed to hold herself. She was very kind to people, even people she didn't know. And, and uh, Dolly can attest to that. He didn't know her. And she was never mean to him. She was a nice person. Um, but again, not a perfect person, just like every single one of us. But she cared. She cared about Summer. She fought for Summer, even with all the mean and nasty things going on around about her. She still came up. She still talked. She still called. She still shared. She still passed along information. She still did what she could to find the truth. And I don't want people to forget that. So God bless her family. God bless her children. And God bless her children, her grandchildren that she's never going to get to meet. Don't forget to be fearless. If you see something, say something. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So I hope you guys are safe. And I pray that you guys are nice to people. I pray that you guys are kinder to people in the comment box below. And if you have nasty opinions, keep them to yourself. Or go someplace where they're, accept they're accepted. But the nastiness is coming to the end on the Bullhorn Betty channel. We say no to online harassment. We say no to online bullying. And we say yes to community activism and doing good for the, your community because it's the right thing to do. God bless each and every one of you. As you wake up in the morning, you want to find the latest, greatest information about criminal cases and have an intuitive conversation about the suspects associated with these cases. Head over to the Bullhorn Betty channel on YouTube. Get breaking news right here on the Bullhorn Betty channel. Welcome 
to the Bullhorn Betty Coffee Club. Enjoy your stay and enjoy your day. 